welcome back to Crafters TV. It is 4 p.m. on a Wednesday. It means one thing. It means, of course, it is time for Creative Cravings, that one show of the week where I'm loath to say it's a show for beginners because it isn't. Experienced crafters, you're going to pick up loads of hints and tips, but it is maybe that show where we go back to basics a little bit more. We break things down. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you to get your questions into us as well. Uh, I can't see the coat. Maybe we could do the Crafty Clinic. I'm not sure where it is. It's around somewhere. Uh, Ben's had his hands on it. Oh, it's over there. Maybe we will. Maybe the Craft Clinic will open then. Uh, at uh, What's the time now? 4 p.m. UK time, which is... Uh, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, let's say 5 p.m. UK time, midday Eastern time, we'll open the Crafty Clinic. So get me uh, all of your questions in and I will pass them over to Craig, who is in the studio today. How are you, Craig? Hey, Joe. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of like the start of the week for me. It's coming to the end of the week for uh, yourself, so it's going to be a great show. As you said as well, you know, we don't want to necessarily say it's for beginners, because, of course, everyone else that's more advanced, you know, you're going to get a lot out of this as well. However, what we're going to do over the next two hours, all the demos I'm going to do, we're going to step you through it. So step by step, you know, so by the end of the finished demonstration, you'll be able to create this really nice card or project, or if you're a seasonal crafter then you can of course take it to the next level bringing in all your crafting goodies whether it's us at crafters companion or any of your others so to give you a little bit of an idea as to what we have got let's have a look we've got our cut and emboss folders here so these do exactly that they cut but they also emboss all the details so these ones are our sentiments so the word home well the h m and e die cut out but when you can see the swirls that is all embossed so these are just a couple of sentiments that you get home and love but then we've got our balloon sentiment and stamps so these uh, stamp out and you get die cuts to go with them as well again just a few sentiments there we've got baby and we've got congratulations so you can see there if you like to do your uh, congratulations if you like to do your concepts then you can do it as well but then what about wreaths so perfect we've got the autumn wreath here so these give you the uh, dies and the stamps as well so you can create all your different wreaths but don't just think about autumn or winter do your springtime do your summertime as well but not only are you going to be able to use your ink pads maybe you're going to want to bring in your tri-blend pens so this is just some of the things that you could color and the sort of effects that you can get when it comes to dry try blend pens but all these different things even this one just here you can see we've not Didn't even uh, yeah well, <laughs> well, we'll, well we'll just uh, we'll just uh, don't, don't, past don't worry, that I'll... one yeah it's all right it's all right we're all right we could have got away with that i think we could have got away with that thank you or whether you want to actually color in your die cuts then you can do as well let's just go back to that one so that you can see whether you've got butterfly stamps nature stamps floral stamps anything like that you could be coloring in with your tri-blend pen so these are just some of the things we're going to be showing you over the next two hours <laughs> <laughs> it is as well. I love your cup as well. It says you're on Santa's nice list. Did you see, I think it's a really nice concept. Did you see that uh, this year, Craig, one of these supermarkets are saying that there is no naughty list? Yeah, I know. Because the year we've had the naughty list is off. There is no naughty list. We're bit, all on the good list. Bit questionable that one, isn't it? But they're saying that there is uh, no uh, naughty list this year. So you can see there, am I on the good list? Of course I'm on the nice list. Or... Maybe come tomorrow when I'm Ooh. in, I'm going to be on Santa's naughty list. I think I'm going to have to take it day by day. I think today I'm certainly on his nice list. Absolutely. Let's just see what happens tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm just taking things one mince pie at a time at the moment, Craig, and I find that is the best way uh, to get through things. Loads of you chatting away with us already. It's such a great show for you to get involved in. Uh, Jeannie's in Illinois. I can see Tammy in San Diego. Oh, but it's nice and warm there, Tammy. Uh, Katie is in San Francisco. Uh, Aya's saying hello from Arizona. I can see Nancy's here. Mary in Montana. Rosalind from Maryland. Uh, Devonie's saying hi as well in Arizona. You know, we went for a while, didn't we, where Maryland seemed to be like the crafting center of the state. I feel like Arizona might be catching up, you know. We seem to have a lot of uh, Ariz Arizonian. Is that, is that the right word if you're from Arizona? You can let me know. I tell you what, what I would like to know is if you're watching right now, uh, let me know what, where you are. If you're in the US, what state you're watching me from. Uh, and you can do that on uh, Crafters TV on Facebook or across on our YouTube channel. Just put your, uh, your state in so we can see. Let's do a little bit of a straw poll to see where the crafting centre of the USA is. And then when I'm back on Monday with Sarah, we'll do the UK one. 
We'll do a US one today, UK one on Monday. How does that sound? Sounds good? Okay, shall we crack on? Oh, before, how could I forget? Look, what did, look at this down here. Oh, I know, yeah, triple points. Uh, it is, of course, uh, Club Inspire 6th birthday uh, this weekend six years since uh well it's been around since the start kind of but it was sort of remodeled about six years ago so uh, the birthday means that the anniversary means that you're going to get triple points across absolutely everything here on crafters tv and across our entire website as well so absolutely fill your boots and the reason we do it now sarah was telling me earlier in december is because it resets in january so we really want to get make sure we get you over the line uh into uh that next level so maybe you're silver iron gold are you a gold iron platinum this is definitely the event that's going to do it for you we also as well for everyone that spends over 40 pounds or 40 dollars we are going to send you uh, one of this year's uh, ornaments, uh, our stocking decoration. Uh, you're going to grab one of those. Uh, what I would say as well is if you are getting one, uh, you're spending over £40 or $40, consider putting another one uh, into your basket as well because all the profits from that decoration are going to the Bradley Lowry Foundation, which is an incredible children's charity uh, based here in the northeast of England. The details, if you did want to grab another one, are right there on your screen, or maybe you want to get a couple uh, and pass them on to friends and families. Absolutely. You can do that. Oh, we're getting some uh, getting some counties in already, some states in already. Uh, Florida, Florida, uh, Iowa, and Texas. So we've got Karen, Ronnie, Hannah Law, and Betsy. I think Betsy met up with Mary yesterday in Houston because Mary from Tennessee was down meeting family in Houston. How awesome is that? That our you know our crafters are now meeting up in other parts of the country. Right, I've waffled a lot. So let's get on. Uh, with some of the stuff that's coming up uh, in this show. What we've got for you is the Bloom Sentiment Collection and it is at an unbelievable price, £69 or $95. Let me take you through, these are the dies that you're going to get. So you get the Sentiment die, you get the stamp that goes with the die and then what you also get are some uh, extra stamps to enable you to turn that into a full project. I love that you get the stamp that goes with the die because this works so well if you uh, heat emboss that and do that faux enameling technique. Lots of sentiments in here for you. So you've got uh, birthday, you've also got love, you have got happy, you've got baby, uh, do 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 do. You also, I couldn't help it, sorry, you've got thanks, uh, congrats for all of you Cliff Richard fans. Uh, you've got friend, and the other one which we've got, which I don't have a board for, is party. But check out party. <gasps> Look at that, shiny. That is gorgeous. Now, not only do you get all of those in there, you also get these as well, which are the extras, which are going to allow you to transform these and embellish uh, all of your different, uh, embellish your different uh, projects as well. That's brilliant. That's not all you get though, because, oh no, you think we're done there. I'm going to knock all of this over before the end of the show today, so just hang around and wait. It's worth staying tuned for the whole hour to see me do that. Uh, what I've also got is the birthday, the everyday celebrations uh, paper pad. You're getting that included. It's 180 GSM, so it's perfect for backgrounds and matting and layering. You've got 48 sheets here, and what I love is it's very, very colourful. It is, I mean, it just, ha I f you, can't, you can't look at that and not be put into a good mood, I don't think. It's going to be perfect for all of your, hold your breath collectively, for all of your oh, celebration projects that you might want to be working on. Lots you can do with this, Craig, as well. It seems like the design team have had a lot of fun putting these ones together. They certainly have, John. I'm going to be able to show you just some of the things that they've been creating just here. So what we've got with this one here is, when it comes to stamping dies, it's exactly that. You've got the stamp, you've got the die. So you can use them individually, or what you can do is use them together. So it's all about the sentiments. You've got your added sentiments at the top where you can stamp them out, so you are my best friend. But then we've also got things like birthday. But then, you know, just don't think about your normal cards. Maybe do your easel cards that you can see there. Incorporate in the paper pad all these extra balloons, all these little accents, they come included as well. So again, gatefold cards, you can see congrats as well. So some of, you, some of them you've got the shorter terms too, not necessarily the whole sentiment. We've got thanks, but then what you can do is then colour coordinate it. So if it's someone's favourite colour, maybe someone's doing a theme, then you could be doing that too. But then maybe just wanting to use the actual balloons on their own. You know, you don't have to use the sentiments. Then on this one here, I really like this one, that's just using the die. So without using the stamp, using the 
the background dies so you can see that one doing it multicolor to create that effect there larger cards smaller cards there's a nice wee small card as well just to say hello so certainly with uh, things going on at the moment maybe you just want to send someone a little note just to say hello you know instead of saying something you know i'm thinking of you that just hello it's just a nice thing for them to open up in the mail each day Awesome. Uh, loads that you're going to be able to do with those. I love that they're fun. Uh, there's lots of party uh, involved on there as well, which I think is awesome. You're going to love uh, using those. We're going to move on to now uh, some of our cut and emboss folders. And cut and emboss folders, I think, are something that we here at Crafters Companion do exceptionally well. And that I also think they are great for if you're going to be doing a lot of batch making of cards. Because you see here, all of that detail that you can see here in this top panel is one pass uh, through, the, uh, through your uh, Gemini Junior, your Gemini machine uh, these will go as well through uh, your midi if you want them to so you've got birthday in here uh, you've also got congrats you have got friend uh, you've also got home there's no place like home uh, you've got love and uh, you've also got thanks in here as well they're the six that you're getting uh, and I think again really usable uh, sentiments that you're able to use all the year through for lots and lots uh, of different occasions which is awesome I always think you get um, you get a lot of payoff for minimal uh, effort with our cut and emboss folders Craig you absolutely do you do indeed so I've got a few of them just set out here for you to see so whether you want to go monochromatic that you can see there just adding a bit of color using the gilded wax we've got the gilded wax back as well so again you've seen these ones here so congrats as well so although you've got that long word you've got the shorter term but then what about doing your inky backgrounds whether it's your aqua pens your aqua pots your sparkle pens anything like that and this one here you've got the L the V and the E to die cut and then the actual heart I'm going to tip this ever so Slightly. I'll get it straight and then tip it forward. See how you've got the embossed heart just there, so that embosses. Then what about home? So texture folders, texture backgrounds as well that you could use. Always reminds me of Home Alone when it comes to this one here. Just reminds me of the Home Alone logo. Then you've got thanks as well. If you like to do, can you believe it's the 30th anniversary of Home Alone this year? Oh, just, it is. And I, I do you know. know what else it's the anniversary of? 60 years of Coronation Street coming I know, up. I 60 know. years. Oh, Tracy. I know. And it's the only soap that I still watch as well. I know. But yeah, gosh, it's a big year for TV. It is film, a big year. It? It's got to be yeah. a big year for something, Craig. Uh, it's got to be. We've got to end the year on a high. How Absolutely. better can we end it on a 60th anniversary of Coronation Street? There's our thanks as well. You can see there's some concept cards too. It just doesn't have to be flat cards. Dimensional, bringing in all your foliage. Maybe you've got a flower forming range, whether it is the all occasion, whether it's the winter range. Incorporate that as well. You don't need to do a lot to them, Joe. I'm going to show you how you can cut and emboss them one pass, and we'll show you a few different ways in which you can create things. Awesome. If you want to get those £46 in the UK, $53. Craig, I'm going to go through the reefs in just a second. Yes. But actually, do you want to go through the samples before I go through the product Craig whilst you get that together I will just uh, we'll go back to our straw poll of uh, where people are tuning in from so uh, Heidi says Ohio uh, from Heidi she's in uh, Ohio I think uh, Vicky's in New York Tessie's in New York as well she's in New York New York so good that ends it twice uh, Aaron's in New Jersey uh, Laura's in Virginia Cindy's in Pennsylvania, Kelly's also in Ohio, Kathy's in Ohio, Suzette in Canada, Anne Louise in New York, Jennifer in Oklahoma, um, Carla's in Alamogordo, New Mexico, that's a new one on me, Tony is in Colorado. I think Ohio might just have it at the moment, you know, Craig, so keep getting in, keep letting me know which uh, state you're watching from. I don't know what you win, if you win, but you win, I don't know, the... Uh, the recognition that you've got the most crafty state in the crafters TV land. How about that? I think that's good. You know, we all like a bit of recognition, don't we? Absolutely, indeed. So this is where you're going to be now. As I said right at the start, sometimes a lot of the times you think of Reese, you think of Christmas time. But then the ability with these ones here is you can do them any colour you want. So this one's been made into a little gift box, but we're looking at the top. So we've got the wreath all the way around, but then we've got all the elements that we can build up upon. So you've got stamp and die, so cut them into pastel cards, bright cards if you want to, or of course the colours with your ink pads. 
here we go, we've got the spring. Now you've got spring right in the middle, so that just lets you see that you have even got the dies as well. So not only stamps, you've got dies as well for all occasions throughout the year. Now this one, going for the autumn time, again you even get that autumn when it comes to the big bundle. But what about doing it on your acetate cards, your construction cards that you can see there. That one's just falling off, we'll fix that one later on as well. So absolutely you can make it festive. Maybe on the front of a fairy door, you know, maybe if you want to get the kids involved you can create things. Any time of the year you can start to create them. You've got roses, you could be doing that one. But you can see from the samples that I've been showing you the different colours. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. You can have fun. You've got three different wreaths to actually choose from and then you can build upon all the different foliage, all the different colours and all the different mediums that you want to use when it comes to creating your cards or project or home decor. Absolutely you can. I'm going to take you through uh, what is coming in this collection and how you can get hold of it. Again an awesome price uh, on this. You've got four different reefs in here. So you've got your rustic reef which is that one there. Uh, you also have the uh, full bloom reef. You've got the primitive reef and you've got the simple reef as well. You've then got some sentiments in here for you too. So what you've got is uh, you've got the festive sentiments, you've got the seasonal sentiments and then you've got the festive phrases in the stamps along with the everyday phrases. Uh, you're also going to get the just because stamps you're going to get the buds and blooms. This is your uh, stamps and dies, which are going to enable you to embellish your reefs. And you're going to get uh, the nature's confetti as well. That is a big collection for that price. £69 or £86.50 if you want to get your hands on all of that. Now, the hero tool this week. <gasps> This is always so incredibly busy whenever we bring it to you. And we've got it on a fantastic deal. We've only gone and got you a discount, I know, on the rotating design board from Tiffany, the A4 one. I couldn't believe it when I found out this morning. This is absolutely awesome. If you love coloring, you are going to love uh, using this because you can clip your coloring projects onto here. You can get everything moving. Um, Lizzie, I was with Lizzie Curtis yesterday for Softer Side of Life. She's actually got her Gemini on like a Lazy Susan. You could actually use this to put your Gemini on to swivel it round if you want to. The other great thing as well is that the base is the same width as the top. So you know like a lot of these sort of things normally, what you'd have is you'd have the A4 piece here, wouldn't you? And then on the underside, you'd have a little round thing here and that'd be it. So every time you lean on it, it would actually topple over. With this, it doesn't. So if you want to put heavier things on here, Absolutely you can. It is great for a whole host of different things. If you love brush lettering and calligraphy, you want to practice that, this is brilliant to enable you to do that as well. So many different jobs uh, that you'll find uh, to use this with. The great thing today is that we've got you a discount. The first time I've seen it discounted in a very long time, $14.39 or $17.99 uh, if you want to get your hands on that. It's been really busy uh, for that already. Right, up next, uh, we have got a great deal for you on our gilding waxes. Uh, so we've got lots of different colours here for you. Uh, you've got the King Gold, which is this one just here. They're all 8 99 or $12.74. Uh, you've also got the Antique Gold, which is that one just there. It's the same size pot, don't worry. Uh, you've also got the Empire Gold and you've got the Renaissance Gold as well. Um, all of those looking gorgeous. The Silver, I absolutely Love the silver. I think it's a really, really lovely uh, effect. Silver so far actually uh, is in the lead. Um, right, loads of you still let me know where you're crafting from. San Diego, Josie's in San Diego. Diane is uh, in Tennessee. Monica is in Detroit. Put your hands up for Detroit uh, in Michigan. Jean is in uh, Hawaii. How fancy. Uh, Janet is in Pennsylvania. Sheila's in Georgia. Anne Louise is in New York. Um, Joy's in uh, just outside Chicago in Illinois. Dieter's in Southern California. Uh, Jean is in Tucumcari in New Mexico. Rep she says Tucumcari, New Mexico, reporting in. Uh, so there you go. I still think Ohio. Do you know what? I think it's close between Ohio and New York at the minute. What do you think, Craig? I think it's pretty close. Pretty close indeed. I think by, by, maybe by the sounds of it, Ohio's kind of just there, uh, mm. pipping at the post just there. It's but a three-horse race. Uh, we won't be demanding a recount. Don't worry. Uh, we'll give you the result uh, by the end of this show. <laughs> right, balloons, Craig. Over to you. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Really good. Uh, yeah, we're going to crack on. We're going to start with the balloon sentiment and stamp. So what we're going to do to start with is I'm going to use my stamping mat and my four-inch stamping uh, plate. So we've got them on the show as well. So what we're going to do is 
start with is, let's use the one that says love. Now there's two ways that you can do the stamp and dies. You can either stamp them, then die cut them, or die cut them and then stamp them. I like to do this, the die cut first, so that's exactly what we'll do on this one here. So again, we're going to go with the love one. So I'm taking the die and that's what we're going to line up there. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the other set that's got all the different balloon shapes on them. And then let's do the love heart. And I'll probably do, I'll do two love hearts. So we'll run this one through first and then we'll do that one again. So these are wafer thin, so as I always say when it's a wafer thin dies, it's the same plate configuration. You'll be able to see if you were to just uh, die cut these individually, they'll go through your Gemini Mini, of course they'll go through your MIDI as well, but I am just using my Gemini Junior plates for these one. And then we're going to run these ones through. So we're just going to run that one through, so straight away what that gives us is that'll give us the sentiment of love die cut, and it'll also give us the balloon. We we'll want to do one more balloon as well. And then when it comes to inking them, what we're going to do is you can use your quick dry. If you're ever unsure, quick dry is always the best one because it's exactly that, the dry really quick. You can use your water reactive if you want to do a bit of water uh, techniques to them. Or what you can do, like I'm just a way to do it, is we're going to use the pigment ones. And then these just uh, enable you to do a bit of blending between colours. But I'll explain awesome. that just in a moment. So we're just going to do one more love heart just here and then we're just going to run that one through and then we'll get on with the stamping as well as a little bit of colouring. Awesome, loads of people loving this uh, as well. Still lots of people ch uh, chiming in, let me know where they're uh, watching from. Uh, Tracy in Maryland, uh, Renee is in California, uh, Kim's in a very cold Wisconsin, uh, Cindy is in a very warm, no doubt, Hawaii. Uh, and uh, Jean Louise says, hi y'all from Florida Panhandle. Florida Panhandle. Wow. I don't know. Have I just done a swear? I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will let me know if that is rude. Uh, <laughs> I should have really thought about that before I read it out. Uh, oh, Anne says she's feeling all alone in Connecticut. And you're never alone uh, when you're with us here at Crafters TV. Um, a lot of love for this collection. A lot of love for that reef collection as well. We'll be we seeing some demos from that reef collection this hour, Craig. Oh, I think so. We may have one or two Ooh, already set up, okay. so we'll definitely have uh, one demo. That is for sure. We'll see if we can maybe stretch in another one, but we'll definitely get one, so do not worry. Uh, the Florida Panhandle, I've been reliably, in well, I've been informed by Johnny, uh, is in the northwestern part of Florida, and it's a very thin strip of Florida. Uh, there you are. Every day's a school day here it at Crafters TV. It absolutely is. I didn't know that myself. Yeah, there you go. Pop. So I know you can't see it there, but I have just popped the stamp love just onto my stamping platform. You can do this onto the six by six inch as well if you want to, um, but I'm just using the smaller one. Now I'm taking my opaque pigment ink pad, so I've taken crushed velvet and I'm also taking the fuchsia. And then what I'm going to do just with the actual uh, pink velvet, I'm just going to stamp just along the top of the word love. So I'm just going to stamp just along the top, then I'm going to go into the fuchsia and then I might be actually, probably be better if I take that, there we go, that's better, taking away that darkness underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp the fuchsia just underneath, so we're kind of blending in the two colours. Don't worry about cross contamination, your ink pads will be absolutely fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a little bit more colour towards the top just there. Then what we're going to do is let's bring in our die cut love. So we're going to bring this one in. And then what I am just a way to do in a moment, I'm a way to stick my head in the way. So I will just wait two seconds just so, because you don't want to see that one. And then what I'm going to do is once I is just start to lay, pop it over. So I'm just, all that I'm just doing is I'm just looking directly down and I'm just making sure my stamp is over my die cut area. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to then press just to commit. And with our stamping platform, they're on four leg springs. So then all that I'm going to do is once I've put a bit of pressure down, I'm just going to release. It's pigment, so it's slightly sticky. And I don't mean sticky as in tacky. It just means that it's still a wee bit wet. And then here we go. We can see, so if I bring that one forward, you're able to see the two colours that I've used, how they start to blend into each other Gorgeous. just seamlessly. 
Now, because it's pigment, what you can do at this point is you can either go straight over with an embossing powder and then that will stick to it and then you can heat it or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it for a moment or two. Well, it takes a wee bit longer just to dry because it is a sticky ink, so to speak. So what you can just do is leave it to dry just naturally or if you've got a heat tool, just go over the top and that will slow, slowly dry it and it just means you can carry on working. But of course, just for uh, time and speed, we're going to carry on anyway. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm just taking this love heart and I'm just going to do exactly what the exactly what I'd done a moment ago with the love but I'm just going to do it just with this heart so we're just going to take the crushed um what did I say this one's crushed velvet and the fuchsia just mm -hmm. stamp in the top of the heart and we're just going to do exactly the same Joe. Uh, Marilyn's just come up with an idea Craig she says Craig do you think there's any chance that you could uh, show us the uh, gilding waxes side by side uh, during this show I know all the different colors are on there but I'm not sure which of the golds uh, I want to go for. How do you feel about that, Craig? I don't see why not. There I've you got are. them Fantastic. all here. Marilyn, just for you. More people saying hello as well. Heidi saying hi from... Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Heidi saying hi from Idaho. <laughs> from Boise in Idaho. Uh, Charlotte is in Georgia. Uh, Four Holidays says, hi, Joe. Coming at you from Florida. Cecilia's in Missouri. And Kathy is in Ohio. Ohio out in front at the moment head and shoulders out in front uh, if you want to if you want to come for the ohioan ohioan the ohioan crown <laughs> uh, then get your votes in um, <laughs> Uh, do every state must because you if you're from Florida you're a Floridian aren't you if you're from Texas you're a, a Texan <coughs> but it must throw up some quite funny ones I'd imagine it must do you if know you're from Wisconsin what are you a Wisconsinian I don't know let me know. Let me know some funny ones, guys. It would be interesting to see what some of them are <laughs> like, me. that's for sure. Yeah. Really interesting. So now that I've done those two love hearts, exactly the same way as i done the word love, on the stamp set as well, you have got a selection of different balloons. You've got banners, you've got presents, cupcake, uh, champagne glasses. You've even got all these ribbons just here. And what these do is these are the ribbons that just uh, hold the balloons into place. You've even got the little bows too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just heard that in, in my ear just there. That's a good one. I like that People one. from Wisconsin are Wisconsinites. There you are, Wisconsinites. That is, I like that one, yeah. It's good, Wisconsinites. It? Is, there's some funny ones out there. There is some really funny some ones. Some funny ones. What I've just done is I've taken one of my nested shape dies. So this is from one of our recently released nested die range. And I've just taken one of the streamers as well. And then what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to pop my sentiment back over the top, just as kind of like a bit of a guide. And then all that I'm going to do, so if I bring this back in, I've just brought in my uh, finesse waterproof. The reason I'm using waterproof is just because I'm going on to something that's kind of tacky, sort of kind of like water-based in a way. And then what I'm going to do is, again, just using this kind of a guide, because your balloons have got the little tail end of the, the balloons as well. And then I'm just going to start to just stamp. So I'm just stamping just from the very bottom and I'm just going to do that another three times just kind of in the flow of the balloons. Don't worry if you're not exact, it doesn't really matter, it's just what adds to the fun of these stamps. And that's exactly what these are. These are so much fun. You've uh, got something different from your traditional fonts, which there's always a time and a place for them. But sometimes you just want something quirky and bubbly and fun and that's exactly what you get with these ones. So if I was to just then position that one there, you can see you get that idea of the streamers coming up holding the balloons. So then if I pop that one to the side, let's just bring these ones in. Then I'm going to bring in on these sentiments here, we've got lots of, and then you've got I, you, with. And this is where you can then start to have a wee play with the sentiment stamps. So lots of and then love, or you could do I love you, or with love, so all these different things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do lots of, which comes as one stamp. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lay this one on, and I'm just going to place it on just like that one. And I'm just going to lay it up just with some ink. What I'm going to do is, I've taken just a bit of cardstock. I'm just covering the of, because I only want the lots at the moment. So I'm just going to stamp lots. So we can then stamp that one into place there and then that then will give us lots onto one balloon and then I'm just going to just take off that excess ink 
into place and then what I'm going to do is exactly the same I'm going to cover the lots this time and then I'm just going to stamp of I've just got a little bit of ink there so take that one off and then what I'm doing Joe is I'm just going to pop that into the middle there and then I'm just going to start to assemble the card. Awesome. Uh, we're getting some awesome ones coming in. Um, Donna says hi from Rhode Island, the smallest state uh, representing Rhode Island. Um, who said Woodbridge VA in the house, says Sonia, all in capitals, uh, which I love. Um, so uh, Monica says Michigans, people from Michigan are called Michiganders. There's wow. a new one. Uh, Crafty AJ saying hi from Oregon, where people are known as Oregonian. There you are. It sounds exotic, doesn't it? it does. Oregonian. Uh, Kim says, I'm, I'm just taking you at face value, guys. So I hope these are all, none of these are rude uh, or offensive. Kim says, we are known as cheese heads in Wisconsin. I need, I, I need some more details, Kim, on what that is all about and where that comes from. Michelle's saying hi from uh, New Jersey. Patty's in Michigan as well. She said, apparently, if you're from the north of Michigan, you're called Youpers. Don't know what that means. No. Not a clue. Um, people from Indiana are called Hoosiers, apparently. Not a clue. Um, Terry says, uh, when I lived in Michigan, we were called a uh, Michigander. The Upper Peninsula were called Youpers. Uh, and um, <laughs> Evelyn saying hi from, she said, if people from, <laughs> if you're from Maine, apparently you're a maniac. There you go. There's another one for you. Just you going back to uh, just Michigan there, there's in uh, Michigan, at least there was in, it was like a, a big arena or a stadium called the uh, Hoosier, Hoosier Dome, Hoosian Dome. So that would probably run along the probably same line. That's, that's what, the they're, same, what yeah. they're called. Yeah. Uh, we have some very, very funny ones. Monday, I'll do the, I'll do the, well, we'll do the funny UK ones on Monday. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That will be fun. That will be fun. So what I've done now is I've taken six by six card blank and then I've just folded that in half. Alternatively, what you can do is you can take an A5 card blank, so it's just A4 folded in half. I've just cut it myself to create a six by six, folded that one panel back there so you get that effect there. And then with that panel that's come along the bottom, I've just done exactly the same folded one back but then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around make a z fold card and all that i've done is i've taken some of the papers within the paper pad just to do a bit of matte and layer so we'll just then start to attach these ones to the card place and then we'll just bring in our sentiments that we have stamped and we can pop them into place how Awesome, that really is coming together uh, beautifully. Don't forget, keep getting, keep letting me know uh, where you are uh, watching from. Ohio, uh, definitely the winners at the moment. Now it's getting really busy on this collection. Uh, remember with the Bloom Sentiment collection, 69 pounds. It's a lot, you're getting a lot in there for 69 pounds. You're getting the eight sentiments, uh, you're getting the accessories and you're getting that paper pad as well. Now if you're a Club Inspire Platinum member, well, don't forget, everyone's gonna get triple points for a start, which is awesome. Uh, so you're gonna get what uh 210 points in the uk uh, you'd get just short of 300 points in the us if you're a platinum member 55 20 in the uk 76 dollars so really is uh an awesome uh an awesome amount of stuff for that kind of price point what i would say as well if you just want to go for the sentiments themselves and you want to mix and match then you can get any two of them for 14 pounds or 17 dollars uh, which is another great way uh, of going for them so however you want to go for it uh, it's completely up to you i do think it is though wouldn't you agree Craig, one of those collections that's going to be really versatile. Uh, it's not particularly gender specific, it's not age specific, it's not occasion specific either. It's one of those things where you could use it for pretty much anything. Of course you could, absolutely. You know, you're spot on in everything you just said there for whatever age that would uh, like this sort of card. It's so much fun. But again, the occasion. So whether it is an invite, whether it's just a birthday card, whether it is maybe, you know, I know obviously at the moment we can't have big parties as such, but you want to do your own invites, then you can do them because they're party themed. So it's maybe all you could just do fun. maybe. I, I mean, I, I, it's nice to have things to look forward to. Maybe we should just organise a party, Craig, and we should think about theme and food and all those things. But just maybe not think about when the date is. Just send the invites out for just you know, just like an IOU. Yeah, for like a party. A you can plan it all and everything, and then we'll just have it whenever we're ready. Uh, Marilyn has um, uh, messaged me with my favourite comment of the day, Craig. She says, Joe. Don't think that the Scotty Hottie is the only hottie on the show. You're quite the hottie yourself, she there says. There you go. Woo, Marilyn. Oh, you're going to make me blush. There you go. 
You got a fad in there. Someone's in love with Joe. Joe and Marilyn. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Oh, you're going off a red there. Makes a change from me going off a red. Yes, doesn't it? Big change. <laughs> uh, very, very busy, as I say, on this balloon sentiment collection. Uh, remember as well, you can get the pad on its own. The pad is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very colourful, very playful. Uh, that um, hero tool is proving very, very busy as well uh, during the show. Remember that rotating design board uh, in the A4 size. Uh, very, very busy on that. Make sure you grab that if you want it. Craig, what are you, are you with us all week here on Crafts TV for the rest of the week? Uh, pretty much. So you've got double me tomorrow. Oh, and lovely. Then, and you up with Ben tomorrow. Uh, yep, yeah, double me uh, with Ben tomorrow. Awesome. And then I'm trying to think, uh, what is this? This is Wednesday, Creative Cravens, isn't it? Yeah, so Friday? you'll be cartload tomorrow evening. Fiona's on Friday. I'm in Saturday. I don't think I'm in Sunday. No. I think I'm in all uh, Saturday, Debbie is in. Debbie is in Sunday. I wasn't sure she was entirely sure until I told her yesterday. And she was, oh yeah, I remember now. Uh, so she's in <laughs> Sunday. And then I'll be back uh, on Monday again uh, with an awesome masterclass with the Exploding Boxes with Cyrus. So make sure you join us both uh, for that as well. It's a very, very fun week uh, coming up. Uh, I feel like the Christmas... Has uh, the Christmas is being knocked up a level this week, Craig? Uh, uh, it's tree day to, for tomorrow for me, so I'm going to go and find <gasps> a tree and put up my uh, first ever Christmas tree at home. Um, what else is happening? Lots of food ordering on Friday. Uh, Sunday, I'm going on a wreath making course as well uh, oh, to wow. make my own Christmas wreath, uh, which sounds fun. I didn't realise quite how long it was though. It's uh, three and a half hours, I think, something along that like that uh, for the wreath making. So I'm not sure how big the wreath is. I mean it. Could be quite the size, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm feeling very, very festive this week, Craig. I think that's the thing, isn't it, Joe? To try and find, at the moment, things that we can do. Although, you know, here in the UK, we can start kind of like from a day. We can do a little bit more, still social distance. So it's good that you're able to do these things, go wreath making, you know, and really get into the can festive vibe. Can you get a haircut vibe. now as well today? Um, well, I'm going for tomorrow. That I'm was tomorrow. my plan tomorrow. Because uh, originally I wasn't in tomorrow morning, or I keep saying morning, for the first show. And um, so that was my first plan was to get my hair cut because it badly, badly needs done. But uh, yeah, we will be getting it done as well. That's for sure. Because uh, I need done. What's in there? So that is that is could that be a, a glass of schlur. Uh, yeah, it could be or a mimoso or you know it could be anything like that. Delicious. That you so wish. Maybe I think maybe it's a French seventy five. That's what I think's in there. Is that what's, what's very what's classy? In there? Yeah, yeah, very. It's a, a French champagne cocktail. Oh, very nice. Mm. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it could be anything you like. So that also comes included that stamp and die. So I'm just going to then just pop a couple of pads on and then we're just going to layer this one up. And then what I've got is one, let's pop it just down to the side. You could then on this part here, pop more paper if you wanted to. Pattern paper is up to yourself. You could then pop some gems on that I've got like one just to the side of me, but I'll show you. But then that is the sort of thing that you can do with your actual stamp and dies. So you can then mix and match, you can coordinate the background when it comes to the actual stamp and the dies. If I bring this one in just here, so you can see just here, we've got that one, just how that, that looks as well. Adding a few gems to finish off, but a really fun one to do. Uh, absolutely, very, very busy on these, Craig. Uh, I knew whenever we bring them to you, they are always very popular. Let me run back through uh, exactly what you are getting in here. If it's the sentiment element on its own you want to go for, you can get any two of those £14 or $17. You're going to get birthday, you're going to get love. Uh, you're also going to get happy uh, as well as baby. Uh, we've got thanks. You've also got congrats. Uh, also friend in there as well as party uh, as well. And I love that sample with the faux enamelling on there. Then you've also got uh, all of the accessories as well uh, that you've got that come with that, that you can use the stamp and die uh, cut too, which is awesome. So it helps to uh, transform that into a full project, which is awesome. Really, really lovely that. Uh, make sure you grab it. Remember, if you're a, a platinum member, you can get that for 55.20 or $76. Do you know what? I've shortchanged you. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. I'd have got home and I'd have realised 
I hadn't even told you about that. I was, I'm avoiding picking it up, that's what it is. I want to share with you, you're also going to get the pad included. So how could I forget? 48 pages of absolute gorgeousness uh, here in this pad for you. Uh, you can see here lots of different colours, really vibrant this one, which I think you're going to absolutely love. 48 pages there, 180 GSM, 12 by 12 in size as well, which is fantastic. So I'll just... Oh. Oh, I wish you could see. I'm going to bring it out for you just so you can see. I mean, look. <laughs> I mean, they're two. These are two separate stands here, by the way. I mean, <laughs> they're not even taped down. They're not even taped. Oh, I've got sweats. I've got the sweats. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Let me remind you of the stamp plate collection. Uh, this is awesome because in here, uh, twenty pounds or twenty-seven dollars, uh, it gives you the four by four and the six by six stamping platforms. Now our stamping platforms are amazing because it means that basically, unlike an acrylic block where you're sort of, you're having to, to hold it and just sort of hope for the best, with this you can push it down and then you really can work your way around the stamp ensuring that every last bit of it has uh, made contact with your project. You've also got that stamping mat and it's like a, a really dense foam and it helps to push your um, cardstock or whatever you're working on into that stamp so you get a nice clean clear crisp stamp every time you use it i hear from a lot of people that say i just couldn't really get stamping or uh, it was something i struggled with a lot but the stamping mat really has changed that give the stamping mat a go if you're having any issues with your stamping whatsoever uh, what we also have as well is um the hero tool uh, I, it does remind me of like I expect like being as, at the circus as a kid and a lady spinning around on here and someone throwing uh, throwing knives at her. Do you, do you ever, did you ever used to go to the circus as a kid, Craig? Oh yeah. yeah I, I love the circus. And there was always a, a knife throwing act, uh, but this is obviously a crafty version of that. And what it's for is uh, for you to, uh, we won't be trying it. Uh, what it's for is for you to uh, do your coloring on here. It means that you can turn and rotate and color. Because a lot of the time, especially like me, so I'm left-handed, but basically for some reason, I don't know why, I turn everything almost 90 degrees when I work. So when I write, I write towards myself. I'm not quite sure why, but this is awesome. Especially if you're coloring, you want to get into little detailed areas. Rather than having to continuously move your work, you're just moving the board around, which is brilliant. It's also great for sitting things on here, uh, like your Gemini, if you wanted to have your uh, Gemini on a turntable. It's an awesome piece of kit. Uh, we sell a lot of these at the full price. Today, though, you've got 10% off, $14.39 or $17.99 uh, is your price there on the that one. Uh, I believe next we are going to, uh, we are going to be going to the cut and emboss folders. These are awesome. We've had some really fun launches recently with our cut and emboss folders. These ones have been very busy uh, because I actually think, you know, you don't need to do too much else to these, which is great. What you've got here is you've got birthday. Uh, you also have congrats. You've got friend, home, love, and uh, you've also got thanks there as well. So they are the six designs that you are getting here. It is, of course, one of our great embossing folders, but with that die element built in there already. What I love about these as well is that you get loads of apertures, so it means that you can play around with fun things behind them, whether it's uh, backgrounds or, or glitter card or mirror card or any of those different things. You're going to have lots of fun putting these together. £46 or $53. You get another $9.20 off of these as a Platinum member in the UK. Uh, you get another $10.60 off of these as a US. US Platinum number, uh, 36.80 or 42.40 uh, would be your Platinum price on these. Don't forget as well, triple points across absolutely everything here on Crafters TV and across our entire site uh, up until the end of Sunday. So if you are eyeing that next level, uh, make sure uh, you get there this weekend. Lots of people still chatting away uh, as well with us as well. Uh, Craig's, uh, Craig's got the giggles. I don't know what for though. <laughs> Um, Susie T says, Joe, you're blushing. You were lost for words. I absolutely was. Uh, Betsy says she loves a double Craig day. Uh, don't we all, Betsy? Anne Anne saying hi from Rhode Island as well. Betsy loves your card. Um, Mary says, we'd like to see the reef that you make, Joe. So maybe uh, you can bring it in and show us all of what you made. Uh, I, I, how about if I post pictures? I think that might be easier. Because um, obviously I want to get it on the door. Do you know what else I thought I'd do with it? I thought, I don't know if my table's big enough, Craig. I did think about making it, making it the, 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 the aperture a bit smaller. 
and having it as my Christmas Day centrepiece yeah. with a big candle in the middle of it. I thought that might look quite... Maybe I could get a double use out of it. Maybe it could go on the door until like Christmas Day yeah. and then it'd go on the table on Christmas Day. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Um, precarious stand there, Joe, says Mary. You're telling me, Mary. Uh, and Kelly says, um, people from Ohio are known as O O I I then I can't I can't say this. Let me let me have a moment. It's known as Ohio O I uh, I, no, I can't pronounce it. O, you try, Craig. O H I O A N S. O I O N S. O I O N S. O I O N S. Something like that. O I O N S. O I O N S. Yeah, there you are. Uh, right, Craig, what do you want to share with us next? Right, Tio, we are going to show you these cut and embossed folders. And just to say, the reason I had the giggles, I had a wee bit of the windy pops there. Oh, and I wasn't you? sure if you could kind of hear them. Did you, you might hear have it? heard them. Did you hear it at home? Better out than in, Craig. Better out than in. Yes. It, was, it was just it was just a little one, just that whoop, so yeah, so I just wasn't sure if my mic caught it or not. So <laughs> give me the giggles. There you go. Uh, right. So. I once, in a previous job, someone said during a show, I was doing a show, a cooking show, Craig, and so I went to say Brussels sprouts and did the biggest burp in the middle of the word sprout. <laughs> Dave Bradford, that was, yeah. <laughs> uh, it must, it must be hard. Somewhere. When you're eating live, you know, yeah. and then you, you get them. But yeah, absolutely no excuse for why mine's popped up, it just did. <laughs> on that note, we're all friends, and we're, we're live. Really shows you we're live, we'll cut that out afterwards. Talking about friends, what we're going to do is we're going to use our uh, friend, our cut and emboss folder. Now, I absolutely, categorically, 100% believe no one does embossing folders better than we do at Crafters Companion. And we have then got a great range of cut and emboss. So what we're going to do with this one is absolutely it's going to be a card for a friend, but we're going to use it to make a Christmas card. So, you know, if you've still got your cards to make, think about using these ones within the Christmas range. So what we're going to do is straight away I've just bought an uh, A5 card blank so A4 folded in half and then what we've just done is I'm just folding it in half again I've already used my scoreboard and what I'm going to do is then we're creating our easel card that you can see from up above so that's just A4 folded in half and then we've taken a quarter of it and folded it in half again which gives us that shape that you can see above so then i've taken some of uh, sarah's glistening snowflake collection as well as the red red funny looking red blue mirror cardstock and we're just going to do a little bit of matting and layering just here you can make it red if you wanted to but you know it's definitely not red so let's just pop that one in just there. And then what I'm going to do on this one just here is I've done exactly the same and it's the same size and that one's going to go onto the front. Just need to watch that you just pop adhesive on that bottom section. If you pop it on the whole lot and stick it on, it will all stick. So what we're just going to do is I'm just doing it by eye. Uh, you can of course uh, use uh, a ruler or a bit of a guide if you wanted to. So I'm just pop my adhesive on the bottom half. That can then go into place there. And then we can see now from up above, that gives us our easel card. And then we'll bring it in just on the angle so that you can see just there. That's how the main concept of your card starting to look. Awesome. I mean to ask you, Craig, have you watched any new Christmas films yet this year? Uh, any new one? Because there's some new ones out, isn't there? There's there one is. that I particularly am giddy with excitement, Craig. I bet you could probably guess which one it is. Uh, it's got to be, it's a Dolly Parton. Uh, yes, of yeah, course. I'm actually saving it for my Christmas Eve Christmas film. Oh, yeah. Do you know what uh, I'm with saving? With mulled wine and mince pies on Christmas Eve. I'm saving the new, I don't know when I'm saving it at all, but maybe I'll wait till the weekend, the new Chronicles film. Is Chronicles? Was oh, it good, Johnny, is it? Is it? I'm waiting until all my prep's done, all my work's done, I can just sit down and just uh, relax and watch it. So I've not watched the film, but do you know what I did last uh, last night? I did watch on Netflix, other streaming sites available, was, um, it's I can't remember what it was called, but it, it shows you how they made films. And it's a Christmas oh, okay. one. And they talked you through how they made Elf with oh, Will really? Farrell. And That's the a great struggle, film. the struggle that they had, because no one wanted to... Uh, Pick no up one the film. To be in the film. No one oh. wanted Will Farrell to be Elf, and it was really, really fascinating to see actually how they made it. So oh. certainly worthwhile. There's two of them. The next one is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. How awesome. that film came about. So uh, mm. certainly worthwhile oh. watching. I uh, should be watching as well. Uh, Last Christmas. 
Is it called Last Christmas? The one from last year. Was, last it new, was it new last year? New last year. Yeah. In the cinemas. Oh, it's so good. I think it's on the streaming services as well. So we'll be having a little watch of that uh, too, which is awesome. But I love the new Christmas films because they very much. It's very much, they go one way or the other, don't they, Craig? They either are amazing and they become classics almost instantly, or they really hit the skidders. There's very little middle ground for a Christmas film. Yeah, yeah. There's, the thing is as well, you find though, is you get some of the good ones on, you know, some of the, the TV channels, you wouldn't necessarily think you're going to get a good Christmas film on, but you can actually get some really good films that are not necessarily Hollywood style hot yeah. films but they are really really good so it's always worthwhile checking them ones out as well it's just mm. it's a great time of the year isn't it to get all festive and just watch some yeah. films yeah i think so because it's tree day for me tomorrow i feel like i'm gonna have to definitely gonna have to watch a uh Watch a Christmas film uh, tomorrow. Don't sure. tempt me, Johnny. You know fine well. You know fine what's well. I would start what's he singing. singing in there? Oh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, we we already went through, didn't we? Uh, we have a lot of uh, the Leona Lewis ones and the Kelly Clarkson oh, ones. Yeah. My, uh, those two are my jam uh, this time of year. Great uh, films. Four Holidays on YouTube says, I thought of Craig last night when I watched Home Alone 2. I think Yay. he said it is his favourite. It is his favourite. Your favourite ever Christmas film, wasn't it? It's my favourite ever film. Ever film. Ever film. Awesome. Yep. Favourite ever film. Uh, Dawn says, oh, that's a good tip. Uh, I'd end up adhering it all the way down and trying to figure out what I did wrong. So thank you, uh, Craig. Uh, Kathy says, in Massachusetts, we're known as Bay Staters. There you go. Bay mm -hmm. Staters. Not, not being familiar with that one. That's a new one for me as well. See, you learn so much you do, on don't Crafters you? TV. Now, have a look at that one. So what we've just done is I've just used some watercolour card and I've taken some sparkle pens. So we've used Cosmos and we've also used blue topaz. I wet my cardstock and then I just I wet it with just a spritzer tool and then I just blended the colours in together. Don't forget as well that being creative cravings, anything you see us do, there's always a lot more techniques across on our YouTube that you can always go back and uh, search and have a look for. But what I would do at this point is I would let that dry. So let it dry naturally, it will dry flat. If I use a heat tool, absolutely fine, it will dry with a curve. So all that you need to do is just flatten it. So if I pop that one to the side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in where I went a bit more pastel, same colours, but I used more of the Cosmos just to, so that we can get more of a pastel colour towards the bottom. So then what we're going to do is let's bring in our folders. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then just pop this within the middle. So our cut and emboss folders, the area that has got the die that you can see, that actually die cuts out. Now you've got kind of like a white sponge, very light white sponge. Don't try and pick that out. That's there to protect your folder. You will get a slight mark on the opposite side, but it does your folder no damage. And then all these black areas, that's what is then going to emboss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my cardstock so it's shiny side facing up. So we'll do it so that the blue is towards the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that one. And I've cut my cardstock straight to five by seven. So then we can see here, this is what's going to die cut and this is what's going to emboss. So for our cut and emboss folders, we need our two cutting plates for our uh, Gemini. I like to add my metal shim, as you know as well, just to give the emboss that little bit extra oomph. You don't have to do it. If you are using your Gemini MIDI, then you're just going to use your plastic shim in with the, uh, the actual folder. We're going to run that one through. And in that one pass, it cuts out the word friend and it embosses all of that filigree detail. Then what we'll do, I think, will we add a little bit of gilding wax? <laughs> Save my cup, my cup's fine. <laughs> oh good, as long as your cup's fine, uh, that's right. I'll give you a chance to pick all of that up, Greg. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donna M says, uh, don't forget some of the oldies. Uh, the Bishop's Wife, It's a Wonderful Life, Christmas in Connecticut uh, with Barbara Stanick. Uh, she also goes on to talk about Going My Way with Bing Crosby. Some of the old ones are the best. Christmas Chronicles 2 is awesome, says Mary. Um, C. Turner says, good morning, Joe and Craig. My heroes, along with uh, Craft's companion whilst being shut in. Elf was on this weekend and Hallmark has good movies as well. Now, a lot of people talk about Hallmark movies, Craig. That looks absolutely beautiful. 
There we go. So straight away you can see the depth from that embossed detail and you've got the word that's die cut out and you've got all these little words, uh, sentiment, sentiments, you can make your own uh, friend sentiment out of all these. Of course you can do lots of paper piecing as well if you want. But all that I'm going to do, sorry John, I know you were just speaking there. No, not at all. All that I'm just so doing. Bit of silver gilding wax, and we're going to just pop that over the embossed oh. area. Also, don't forget uh, if you get a chance as well for Marie to we uh, to do put them all side by side. We'll do for that. Her. We'll do it um, just now. People talk. You all know the answer to this, Craig. People talk about Hallmark Christmas films. Yes, and I never know what they're on about. Hall. It's a ch it's a channel. Oh, is it? It's a film channel. Yeah. Ah, so the, the the channel they make the films or they yes. just show them. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, that's... Can you that's name that. some famous Hallmark films? Oh, gosh, no. Um, <laughs> they must be no. good. No, you, do, you do get some great films. You get some stinkers, <laughs> but then, to be fair, you get them on, like, Sky you Movies do. and that as well. But you do get some cracking ones. You get a little gem of a film that is incredible. But, yeah, it's like your Movies 24, your Hallmark, Sony Movies, those ah, sort of channels as well. Ah, so, yeah. I was oblivious. Thank you for clearing that up, Craig. You're welcome. Did you think we were talking about greeting cards or something? I did, the Hallmark yeah. greeting I company. just thought it meant like a really sickly Christmas film. That's what I thought it meant. But uh, yeah, I, honestly, I was completely in the dark. I had no idea. <laughs> now, I've got three of these ones, Joe. I think we're missing another oh. two from behind me. So we'll see at least by the end of the show if we can get a hold of them and we'll show you them. But on this one here, we've got the Renaissance Gold for this one. So what you're going to do is a very much more uh, antique feel. There is an antique one, so we will just show you the difference in a moment. So there we go, there's the better one just there. We've got on this one here, King Gold. So this is what I would say is the gold of the gold, the actual King Gold is the main one. And then we've got the silver as well. So we've got there, so we've also got Renaissance. I'm leaning over because Joe's very kindly just reached over to pop it in. We'll just, uh, just that little label, we'll just ignore that. I've just put it upside down so that you can see it on that one. So you can see the difference. So if I bring the Renaissance as well as, so I think actually they're both, they're both Renaissance. <laughs> so I've just given so you the going two well, you isn't have. it? Yeah, yeah. Can All you right. see the difference? No, because oh, they're exactly the same. I think I found some more. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a, well, I've got two more here. You've I've got, got two, more. Uh, two, two more silver ones. Well, do you know what? I tell you what, I tell you what, here we go. Now, this is silver. Now, notice the difference between silver at the side. And then do you see the silver differences? <laughs> so, what we've got is we've got three. So, I tell you what we'll do is, once I finish this one, I know where there's a secret stash. Do you? I know where there's a secret stash. So what I'm going to do is we'll finish this one and then when Joe goes over, I think the next one we're going to show you is the wreaths. So when Joe starts to go over a few of them, I will run out and I'll go and have a look in the secret stash and we'll bring in the actual ones just so that we can compare them. On that well, one, I, I do I need mean, the silver uh, one. Forward, forward, forward planning uh, would have helped in this situation. Um, apparently, Hallmark uh, is the same company that does the cards, Craig. That's right, yeah. That they do the films and the cards. Yeah. Well, they've got a bit of monopoly on Christmas, haven't they? They do. Yeah. See, that's what I think as well. I need to, I can't sing, but all that I need to do is just come out with a banger of a Christmas song. Right. And then it's played every single year. You think of the, the royalties some of these singers get. Absolutely. Every single time that your actual film, or your films, Favourite your Christmas songs are song, played. Craig? Favourite Christmas song, Darlene Love, Baby, Please Come Home for Christmas. Ah, oh, that, Although that I do, yes, you will have, trust me, you will have heard it. You will have. It's right at the start of Gremlins, it's played. Ooh, and then, uh, Christmas, the snow's falling down, Christmas. Yeah, we got, don't that sing one. anymore because we'll have to pay for it. So <laughs> then there we go. That's all we're doing because uh, I'm not made of money, so I can't pay for uh, the rest of singing that song. But yeah, I like that one. And then for Ella Fitzgerald, I like her. Oh, I like yes. the old town. Nat King Cole, mm. Bing Crosby for uh, Christmas films. Yeah, there's some like great Christmas, some really great Christmas songs out there. There is. Uh, a lot of people still talking about favourite films, though. Christmas at Graceland. Uh, that is Katie Henderson's favourite ever Hallmark movie. Uh, that looks beautiful, Craig. It's nice, isn't it? Just mm. by adding that bit of uh, silver on top, you can use some uh, deep ink if you wanted to. That's entirely up to yourself. 
what I'm going to do is if I bring this one in that I've already done as well the only difference I've added some gems just to save a little bit time and went a little bit more depth when it comes to the emboss on that one on this one I didn't actually even use any gilding wax on this one but you can still see the depth that you've got from the embossing then all that I'm going to do is I've got some purple glitter card we're going to stick that on and then we're just going to start to layer it up what I'll How just awesome. show you is I've taken the sentiment as well. This came with a recent Crafters Inspiration magazine. Oh, have fun. So we've used that, a couple of snowflakes from Sarah's um, Glistening Snowflake collection. And then uh, that's it. That's what we're just going to do to assemble it. Love that. Uh, lots of people still chatting away in the comments, uh, Craig. Um, my absolute favourite, favourite says Dawn, is Arthur Christmas. Have you heard oh, of that one? Yes. Yeah, my, uh, my really good friend, Laura, she, she's my friend, but she's uh, more like a big sister. She absolutely adores Arthur I've Christmas. I've never heard like of I, Arthur Christmas. Have you not? It no. is really good. Really, really good. It's one night, certainly feel really Christmassy when it comes to watching it. Uh, Kristen says White Christmas is her favourite. And on Christmas Eve, the family gathers and we all watch the National Lampoon's Christmas oh, Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was like me last week when I went to get a real tree from a garden. Try to fit it in the back of my car. How much do real trees cost? Well, mine's is about six foot. Yeah. And I was fifteen pound. Oh, okay. There are fifteen pounds. Yeah. That's good. I think that's. I think that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I yeah. thought there were a lot more than that. I was oh, trust, a bit trust me, there was a lot more. Uh, a lot more uh, expensive. But I just. So is uh, it like? Do you like types of tree more expensive? Do you get like a sort of yeah. bargain basement tree, and then you get like a. You know, one that's been, you know, massaged with beer and stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, and has, you know, been, I don't know, sprayed with some sort of, you know, aftershave every day. Or free you'll, range ones. You'll tend I to don't find... Know where they, and I can't imagine trees range very far, but uh, yeah, still. If they come from Norway, you'll find that they are uh, more expensive, Norwegian trees. Um, but yeah, you can get your uh, less inexpensive trees and then you can get your very, very uh, expensive trees, that's for sure. Yes. How did you get a six foot tree in your, is it a Citroen you drive? Uh, Hyundai. It's a Hyundai, that's it. Uh, how did you get a six foot tree in there? With great difficulty. With great, was it coming out the window? With great difficulty. It was one of those in the car park and I'm looking, is anyone watching? Is anyone? And you know that, you just, you pretend it's not bothering you, you're not embarrassed and you're just thinking, oh my gosh, can I please get this? I need to get this in the car. So I thought the, the top of it was carved right round. That was the slowest I've ever driven. I always drive responsibly. Yeah. I know you do as well. I do, but obviously. But yeah. it was kind of, Mirrors, can I, can I see? So don't do that at home. I so don't condone you, where, where it. Where did you have it? Like hanging out the boot and also out the passenger window? Or? Well, the window was down. There right. may be a couple of branches outside the uh, the window. No, the boot was definitely, that was uh, secured down. That was right, okay. A-OK. -okay. So yeah, we've right. got it. we got it home. We've got it at home. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it probably was a scene. It was and a imagine scene it indeed. was. Imagine it was. Uh, very, very busy uh, on the uh, cut and emboss folders. You guys absolutely loving these. We have bought these to you a few times recently, and they proved to be busy. I'm glad to see that you've made these a bit more Christmassy as well, Craig, because it's not really what you um, necessarily think of doing immediately with these. But I guess they can be thing to anything you want them to be, really. Of course they can, and that's exactly why I thought about what we'll do is we'll make one of them a Christmas theme, so that you can see that you can absolutely. Although it says friend, you don't necessarily have to use it for a birthday card when it comes to a friend. Why not make it Christmas if you want? And then you can, if you've got a deeper pen, just write within the base there. Or of course, you can be writing them on the back. But then there we go, making a Christmas card out of the cut and emboss. As you said, Joe, you wouldn't necessarily think to make a Christmas card when it comes to these ones, but why not? Once you've got the home, you can do whatever you like with them. Absolutely. As I like to say, you do you, hun. Uh, and you can with these. You can do anything you want with them, make them for any occasion. Let me run through the options again. Well, I say options, pretty much all of you are going for all of them. Uh, you've got the birthday. You also have congrats. There is friend. We've also got at uh, home, you've got love, you've got thanks, and uh, yeah, then back round again to birthday. £46 or $53 if you want to get your hands on those ones just there. Uh, right, we're going to look at something maybe great for Christmas if you want to put these away for someone, uh, you know, or give these as a present. Uh, we are, of course, talking about our iconic 
uh, tri-blend markers. Uh, they are iconic because they are really the first colouring system that gives you uh, the perfect um, blending, really. Let me just open this up and show you exactly what I mean. So, oh no, these ones are all, uh, these ones are all brand new ones. Let me see if I've got a new one behind me. Oh. No, I don't, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so what you've got really are in each pen or each piece, you've got, do you know what? I'm going to go rogue. Oh no, well, we've got one open one, here we are. So what you've got is each pen and then you have the dark, the mid and the light shade in each of these. So if I open this up, you can see uh, we've got our lightest shade here. This one is the uh, dark red shade. So we've got the light one, which is DR5. We've got the mid-tone then as well, which is DR6. Uh, this is a new one, that's why it's a little bit stiff. Uh, DR6. And then we've got the darkest tone there as well, DR7. And it allows you basically to blend from the lightest colour into the darkest colour absolutely seamlessly. So you get that perfect blend. And they're really super easy to use. Uh, there's lots of inspiration on these uh, over on our website as well, uh, which is fantastic. So what you can do is uh, you get 24 pieces in each of these. So I'll show you what you've got. Uh, what you're going to be receiving is all of this uh, lovely lot. So you've got uh, your essential blends, which are all of these awesome colours here. And then you're also going to get as well your deep blends too. So uh, you've got uh, there's um, two different options for you. So you've got your deep blends and your essential blends. $71.99 or $107.95. Uh, definitely grab them all together if you can because when you get both sets there, what you've got is a full collection. That is everything uh, that we bring to you uh, in the tri-blend pen. So these are the original ones, uh, the iconic ones. Remember if you are spending, you're going to get triple points on everything, which is awesome. If you're spending over £40 or $40, you're going to get this year's uh, decoration, tree decoration, totally free of charge. I had it earlier. Oh, it's over here on my bush. Let me grab it. Uh, right. What we've got here is your tree. I said the bush, honestly. Craig, you're going to hate this, Craig. This, that's our Christmas tree. This is our, this is our studio Christmas tree. Let me come round the, let me come round the front and hang my ornament. Oh, look. Got a bit of gaffer tape on there as well. That's a, uh, let me just pop this on. Oh. There you go. You're winding me up. That's Christmas sorted here in the uh, Crafters Companion Studio. <laughs> we've got a Christmas, we've got a Christmas bush. Uh, what I'm getting at is everyone that spends over £40 or $40 will receive free of charge uh, our 2020 charity uh, stocking decoration. Now, what I would say is definitely throw a couple of extra ones of those uh, into your basket because all the profits uh, from this will go to uh, the Bradley Lowry Foundation, which is an awesome children's charity uh, based here in the UK. Now, as the tree review goes, Craig, any words? No. No words. Okay, fair enough. The bauble, the decoration, absolutely. You'll Gorgeous. see on Instagram. Uh, I got mine. I ordered, but I actually ordered mine while we were live a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I got mine delivered as well. And it's pride, pride of place. I don't actually have mine on my tree because it looks so nice within the packaging. I've actually got it sitting ah. on top of uh, a couple of gifts that I've got, and it's just nestled nicely under the tree where uh, people can see it. Because I don't want to open it, but it is. It is a gorgeous bauble. But like you say, for an incredible cause. Uh, it really, really is a great cause. If you can, uh, dig deep and grab uh, a couple of those. Uh, right, we're going to move on next to the uh, reef dies is where we are going. Well, I say dies, uh, dies and stamps, which I have uh, put somewhere really, really safe. Here they are behind me. Uh, right, <laughs> let me just... Can you tell, guys, it's nearly the end of the week for me? Uh, it's fake Friday today uh, in the Joe house. Uh, right, you've got four different styles of reef in here. So let me take you through these. You've got your rustic reef, You've got your full bloom reef, your primitive reef, and your simple reef as well. Now you also get lots of extra bits to um, decorate these up with. So you get uh, two lots of uh, die cut sentiments in here. Uh, you also get two lots of stamp sentiments as well, as well as a uh, collection of stamps, which are gonna be awesome for finishing off your projects. And uh, you've also got in here as well, buds and blooms, and nature's confetti, which are great for allowing you. These are stamps and dies that are going to allow you to decorate up further uh, your reefs as well. So you get absolutely all of that in here. You are gonna make some really gorgeous things. What I love about these is how pretty and dainty uh, they are, which is awesome. So you can see you've got that lovely one there. This one here, so definitely got room to make these a little bit more festive. Think about using them on smaller projects. Uh, think about just uh, accenting it as well with little elements there, as you can see. However you want to use them, uh, they are absolutely beautiful. And I think pretty, Craig, is the word with these, isn't it? 
Really is, really, really is. So we'll show you them just shortly in a bit more detail on what you can do with them. But I managed to get some of the uh, Gildan waxes. Found all five of them. So I've got them set up and we will just do them side by side so you can see. Of course, we've established silver is silver. And that's a good one that you could be popping on to anything like your icy cards, you know, your blues, your uh, even sort of your pastel colours work really, really well. Then on this one, we've got your uh, Empire Gold. What I'm going to do is if I bring that one first, King Gold is what I would say for me is kind of like the gold of the gold you can see on that one just here so perfect for so many different things you know think of your home furnishings as well if you want to upcycle because you can use all of these on all these different uh, medium sorts of wood then we've got in uh, this one here we've got the empire gold on this one a bit more of a, a muted sort of uh, a very hint of a, the pastel look to it on this one just here so you can see the difference between the uh, king gold and the empire gold and then we're going to go over onto this one here so on this one is your renaissance gold on this one so very much more of your antique effect within this one here that you can see running all the way through and then on this one just here we've got the uh, antique gold for this one just here a lot of antiques running lot through antiques, uh, the whole yeah. lot absolutely yeah but what you can then just do is uh, you can see here as i say so if you want to upcycle uh, any of your home furnishings then these are going to be a good one to add just that little bit of uh, vintage look to them so that is your uh, different looks when it comes to all of these ones so if i just bring these ones if i bring these four certainly when it comes to your gold effects just here and then of course we do have that silver one as well awesome i uh, do grab those whilst they're on a 25 percent discount not really that often uh, you see them discounted individually also a great chance maybe to complete uh, your collection if you're just missing uh, one or two of those as well right what would you like to share with us next craig right we're going to use the wreath so we're going to use the nature's confetti we're going to use the uh primitive wreath and then we're also going to use the everyday everyday phases for these ones so i've got a couple of bits of our white smooth stamping card which is four by four so i've got three of them and then what i've just done on all of them is i've just scored from corner to corner so all that i've just done is i've taken one of the little uh, leaves which is out of the set and then we're just going to do a bit of stamping so if i bring this one out you'll be able to see how you get the dies you get all these different leaves as well foliage too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off just one of the leaves and then what we can do is we can just bring in our stamping platform again and then all of these ones i'm using the quick dry so i'm using the anthracite for this one here so more of a gray tone with this one you could if you wanted to use any of your uh, metallic markers anything like that if you've got them within your stash but of course for this one we're using our quick dry and i'm just randomly going to stamp my leaf. This is then going to create kind of like our uh, concept card, our card blank, so to speak. So if you don't get a perfect result, if you get bits that are missed, don't worry about it. It's the background, it's your card blank. So, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. So what I'm just doing is I'm just going to keep randomly going over the back. And you can see I've done that with these two already. Doesn't matter if we're going over the actual fold line, it's absolutely fine. So what I'm just doing is I've just, oh, there's the lid. We're just going to keep going. Always remember, stamp off the page because it looks more natural that way. So we're just going to do a few more. Let's just do a couple up to the top, even just doing some extra ink in at the side. And let's just leave it like that one. So then what we can do is we've got all four of them or four of them that's a funny four isn't them three of them we've got three of them i can count i promise and then what we're just going to do is we've got them that are folded in half each of them so i'm going to take this first one just here so it doesn't really matter which one we're taking and i'm going to do it just so that the diagonal is from top left down to the bottom then i'm going to take my next one and then this one here what i'm going to do is we've got the uh, actual line going right across the middle that you can see there so what i've just done is i've just popped it into that kind of like that um angle just at the side just there so what we can do is let's bring in our tape runner for this one so i just need to add adhesive onto this part here so if we just add our tape runner onto there so then what we're doing is we're going to bring that one in there to there 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this next one that we've uh, already just done and then bringing in your score line from uh, top right down to bottom left. That's then just going to sit just nicely there so you've got your score line right down the side or down the middle. And then once again on this bit here all that I want to do is I just want to add adhesive onto there and then we're just going to pop that one into place. So we've got a rectangle and we've got this little bit just out of the side. Press it into place and then what that one then does, so if I just tend to just fold all of these ones into place, so we're just folding it over and then what happens is that gives you a little triangle card just here. Love it. What I'm going to do just at the moment, I've taken some Velcro dots. You can even use our magnets that come with the memory books. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop one of them. So you're just having a look, just see where you want to position. So let's pop the actual one side of your uh, Velcro dots or uh, hook and loop as I think some of you call them. Then the actual negative, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that straight over the top. And then what I can do is close it. And then this is going to give me the oh, actual belt to dot in the, right place, in that the exact right place. So we've got a 3D model that you can see just here. But then, of course, what you can just do is just fold them flat to go into the post. So that's what creates the kind of like TP sort of part of your card. So then what we can do, bringing in again another bit of our smooth white stamping card. You'll see that I'm using that throughout. And then we're just going to bring in the uh, primitive wreath for this one here. So if I then just bring out my die, you get the die, you get the stamp as well. So what I'm doing for this one, I do like to uh, also do the die cutting first, simply because this is going to be really quite, uh, it's going to be quite small, it's going to be quite detailed. So on this, this is where I find it easier to do the die cutting and then the stamping. Uh, lots of people asking about the difference between the Pebio gilding wax and the metallic waxes. One is water-based, one is oil-based. Uh, so the Pebio is more like a upholsterer's wax. Is that correct, Craig? Absolutely. This is what you're going to find. You know, anyone that does like to do that upcycling, you know, they go into second-hand stores or any of your uh, fairs and that when they're on, when they look to do your uh, recycling and that sort of thing, then that's what they're going to be using when it comes to the Pebio one. So are all shops open again now, Craig, do you know? Like, so like antique shops and stuff, will they be open again now? I, I believe that they are. Sorry. It's okay. now just uh, back to social distancing. Well, I need to go and find two antique chairs and an antique sideboard. I'm desperate, Craig. Right. So that's why maybe I'll do that on Friday if we're yeah. allowed to again now, which is nice. You see, what I was getting confused at, Joe, is uh, like my friends and family back in Scotland, they haven't been closed. Oh, yes. But so, aren't some bits of Scotland, like, isn't it, is it Glasgow that's on a, a, str a stricter lockdown yeah. at the moment? Yeah. Because a few of them are maybe posting on their social media they were away for a meal or something and I'm like how are you guys allowed out and they're like but we are not restricted and um, it's just you down in England so uh, it's very confusing Craig, it's very it? confusing but we'll get it? there in the end the end is in sight hopefully it so. is it absolutely is and soon it'll all be a distant memory it, it will be it will be and one that we will not want to remember. No. And, and we will remember the good bits because there's definitely exactly some it. nice things that have happened uh, during this time so that's just exactly those bits it. you'll remember. You're, you're spot on with that. It's, it's one of those things. So whether obviously it comes to crafting, whether it's creating, making projects, you want to try and do things, make things, remember things that when you do look back on this year, you're actually going to remember these good things and not the bad things. So, uh, you know, you can be doing that, whether it's for yourself or friends and family when it comes to your creations, it's a good thing to do. And these wreaths are so much fun as well. Nice, small and dinky. So absolutely they can be on your uh, card blanks or you could then start to bring them into anything like your canvases, mixed medias, that sort of thing that you can be making. So what I'm doing is I'm just flattening that slightly and then all that I'm just doing is I'm just kind of working out, just matching it up like we did within the first one. I'm just going to try and find the leaves. There we go. And then I'm going to stick my head in the way. And then what I'm going to do is once I'm happy that I'm straight over the top, I'm then just going to press to commit. So if I press that one all the way around and then what we're going to do is... We're then going to release that one. And even there, I'm, I'm off a little bit more. 
but I'm not going to fret too much about it. So you can still see you've got that wreath effect going all the way around. Could you imagine stamping that and then cutting it out? Now, I would love to do that because you know I love to cut out, but that is really fiddly and detailed to do it. So at least it's all done for you. Do you know what, Craig? I think I, I've been, uh, I got some new scissors, didn't I? Director Daniel got me the Crafts Companion scissors as a moving in present, which was very nice of him. But I actually think I quite fancy having a go at some, like, cutty out stuff. You would, like some decoupage yeah. stuff. But I don't know what I'd do with it, but I just find the idea, I just find cutting stuff out quite cathartic, you know. It maybe is. I need to just down, maybe I need to get some just sheets of flowers and just sit and cut them out. Give it a shot. Have a lovely time. If you have even got our uh, decoupage pads, you know where we got the decoupage oh, yeah. dies and that? They're really easy to cut out by hand as well, although you get the dies with them. So it'd be worthwhile getting a few pages from them. Ooh, maybe because I'll they give you a white outside line as well. So you could always follow if you wanted to uh, have that line to follow. Or if you like to add that little bit more depth by really going into all these tiny little bits to cut out, then you do can you know do what? it. I just had a, I've just had a brilliant idea, Craig. What's that? It's a brainwave. Already, thinking about New Year's resolutions, maybe next year, what I could do is every month I could have a go at a different type of craft. That's good. And do it on my uh, Facebook, Facebook page. So I don't know what it would be. We'd have to get some suggestions, wouldn't we, of all the different types of things that I could do. Yeah. Uh, but like traditional decoupage could definitely be one, couldn't it? Yeah. Uh, making a birthday card could be another one. Oh, uh, well, have a look. Let's have a think about all the different the different challenges I could do. I could do one every month. I think I'm up for doing that. You know. That would be really good. It would be good to see. It would be good to see your take on them. So whether it's paper craft, card making, maybe it's going to be doing things like your uh, your sewing, your soft crafts. I think that would be good to see. Sewing would be a good one, wouldn't it? I could try and sew something. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. I mean, I might be. I, I might be absolutely hopeless, uh, Craig. But yeah, I'll, let's. I'll have a think about it. I can't with a list. And uh, let's make it happen. 2022, we'll do it. I'll, I'll give something a go. Every 2022. Month. Yeah, I mean, let's not rush into it, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean 2021 is what I mean, sorry. <laughs> I know we're skipping this year, but come yeah, on, yeah. you know. <laughs> okay, 2021, I'm going to do it. So colouring could be another one. I'm just thinking out loud now. Let me know in the comments. Let me know some suggestions of uh, some, that I could, uh, some that I could do. Absolutely. Flower good. forming could be another one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited, Craig. The thing is, you're, uh, it's good because what you can always do is you can just borrow some of the, the products from here in the studio and oh, then absolutely. at least gives you a shot, lets you have a, a little taster of all these different things that we've got to offer. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah. I'll need to get my thinking cap on for you. Can't wait. So what I've just done there is on these ones here, you've got all these dies and stamps. Now I've got all of these already just uh, stamped and die cut. But what I'm going to do is, well, at least just do one and then I'll bring all these other ones because it's exactly the same idea. So I've just die cut them out. And then what I'm just doing is I'm just going to pop that over the top. When I'm happy, I'm going to press. And then that gives you your lovely autumn wreath. Of course, it can be any other colour that you so wish. So what I'm going to do is if I bring all these ones in, so using all those dies I just showed you, I have already done all these in a multitude of colours. So I've used quick dry and I've used frosty jade, fuchsia, honey pot, anthracite, green topaz, grasshopper and spring meadow as well as orange. So just in case you want to know what colours I used for these ones. So I've done several of these ones just here. So let's just bring in just a nesting circle, black card using our stitched edged circle. And then this is the one we stamped and die cut. Here's one that I'd already done and I've just popped it onto a bit of our uh, double sided adhesive or our Xyron. So then what I'm going to do on this one is let's just pop that within the middle. So we're going to just layer this one up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring all of these in. And then this is where you could start to have a little bit of fun. You can start to create. So for time and speed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, glue gel for this one here. And we're just going to start to build all of these up. So I've got one at the side of me. So, But what I want to do is I'll just show you kind of like the idea. I do like symmetrical. So I tend to do them in symmetrical ways. So what I'm going to do is let's bring in this one just here. That's a die. We don't want that one. We're just going to bring in one of the leaves just here. And then on some of them, like this leaf here, I've used the spring meadow and I've also used the honey pot. And like in the very first demonstration where I overlapped the colours 
of the ink pad you know because again as i said in that first demonstration don't worry it won't do your ink pads any damage whatsoever it won't cross contaminate them you'll still be able to use them time and time again but it just adds a little bit of extra interest so again, we're just layering them all up. So we're tucking them in, we're creating dimension, we're creating interest. What's in the background of the wreath, what's in the foreground of the wreath. You can then come along, you could add extra gems and pearls. It's entirely up to yourself. So let's just do this last one there. I would keep on going like I'll show you in a moment. But what we've also got within the set as well, we've got these banners and sentiments. So I just die cut one of the banners out and just stamped the word send in love that we can see just there. Then just with my fingers, I'm just slightly bending it and curving it. And then what we're going to do again is we're just going to add a bit of glue gel just to the back, tiny little bit there. And then what we would do is just pop that into the middle. I would bring some of these down here as well. And what you will be ending up with is something that looks like that. So you're just going to keep building and building till you've got your wreath just here. As you can see, I've added a few petals on into place. So let's bring back in our uh, kind of like our TP card that we've made. And I'm just going to make sure. So there is the back. So this is then going to be the front. So what I'm going to do is let's just bring in a couple of pads for this one here. And then we're going to add that to the front. So this is then going to give you the sentiment, but it's also giving you the decoration as well all in one so taking that back off and then all that i'm going to do is so if i do it that way there we go we, we dance with adam there there we go so i'm just going to pop that in like that so i'm just pressing that you can write your sentiment either on the back or on the inside it's entirely up to yourself but then there is your little wreath just there that you can see so add more leaves and foliage if you want change the color completely do a normal card a concept card anything like that but that's the sort of effect that you can be getting when it comes to these wreaths oh uh, really really beautiful lots you can do does it end, remind anyone else of star trek the um <laughs> the tp card always does without fail uh, gina says i should have a go at foiling craig as well as part of one of my uh, one of my months i might have to rope you in to teach me with a lot of this stuff if you if you don't mind craig i, I think you're going to be my go-to guy always help you you know i'll always uh, help you where i can ah oh, thank you uh very very busy uh on these at the moment remember 69 pounds or 86.50 let me just uh, whiz through what you're getting 17 pounds 89 is your saving in the uk uh in the us uh, you're saving 21 uh, 95 let me wish you through the four different styles of reef you've got so you've got the rustic reef uh, you've also got the full bloom reef the primitive reef and also the simple reef there. They are the reefs you're getting. Then what you're getting are the stamps and dies, which are going to enable you to sort of decoupage up uh, on top of those. So you're going to get the nature's confetti and you're also going to get the buds and blooms as well. Then what you're going to get is some uh, sentiment stamps in there. Things like hugs on your special day. Uh, you then get uh, the two phrases in the uh, banners in uh, stamp form. And then uh, you get two lots of sentiments in there as well. So it's a really, really comprehensive uh, bundle, this one. And, and lots of bits of this you're going to use with the wreath. But lots of bits of this that you're going to use away from the reefs as well I think so it's a good stash builder as well as being a good comprehensive collection as well now remember it is our Club Inspire six anniversary celebrations uh, this weekend it means from now through to the end of the weekend you'll get triple points across absolutely everything you buy from us here on Crafters TV and across the entire website as well if you're new to us or maybe you're not wholly familiar uh, with the details of our fabulous club then here is the boss to tell you all about it Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. 
when you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of the fantastic Club Inspire. Remember, triple points right the way through uh, to the end of this weekend. So if you are eyeing that next level, then this might absolutely uh, be the weekend uh, for you to do it. I want to come back to the Hero Tool. It is our rotating design board. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, from, uh, to from Tiffany, uh, it's brilliant because it enables you to, how often are you colouring and you know you just want to get into that next bit there so you end up having to turn all your work. With this you don't need to, you can be colouring and moving it. It's one of those things when it comes to colouring, uh, Debbie was saying this yesterday, once you've worked with it you'll not be able to work without it. It just becomes uh, intuitive. Uh, it's a really really great way if you want to put stuff on it as well you can. It's also great for composition as well if you are you know putting together things like your scrapbook pages you just want to get uh, a look at them from a different angle. It is a really really fabulous a piece of kit, $14.39 in the UK, $17.99 if you're in the US, that is a 10% saving uh, on that, which is absolutely awesome. Don't miss out on that. You know, because it's the hero tool, that 10% saving will only hold for 24 hours. Most of the deals that we bring you here at Crafters TV are good for 48 hours, uh, but the, our time limited ones are uh, just 24 hours. So the same uh, there for our Hero tool. We're gonna go back to the cut and emboss folders because it's proving very busy on these at the moment. You guys absolutely loving these and I wanna run you through uh, the options that you're getting in here. So you're gonna get birthday, uh, congrats. Uh, you've also got friend, home. We have also got love as well as thanks as well. So they're the six that you're gonna get included. 46 pounds if you're in the UK, uh, $53 if you're in the US. Now remember, just under 150 points, uh, if, uh, Club Inspire points for those, are just over 150, 159 points uh, if you are in the US as well. Don't forget about those triple points, making it easier for you to get to that next level in the club. Very busy on these uh, cut and emboss folders, Craig. We've had these on a few times recently. They always seem to be very popular, don't they? They do. They really, really do. You know, you love uh, actually seeing them, whether you've already bought them or whether you, uh, you've maybe seen them a few times and you've thought, maybe not yet. You know, I, I don't need them yet or I'll maybe get them another time. So probably, you know, you're seeing with the triple uh, points, you're probably thinking now's the time to get them. So what we're going to do is we've taken friends earlier on and we made it in a Christmas card. This time we're going to take thanks and we're going to make it into a box. So then you could be gifting, you know, just a little thank you to someone or you could theme it Christmas if you wanted to, put it as a Christmas gift. But we're going to do uh, a thanks one anyway. And then what we're going to do is I've got my white smooth stamping card and I've got water reactive and I've got my honey pot and I've also got Chinese red. All of these different ink pads that you can check out on the website. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to go in with the honey pot and like I say, I've got the Chinese red ready to go as well. So I know you can't just quite see them, but I like to just butt them up against the top of my ink pad or my glass mat. And what that just does is that just enables me, if, if I weren't to do that, and I try and get the ink onto my blending pad, it just goes all over the place. So, you know, as well, it keeps it just means that your hands free. So it goes all over. So if I just then pop that onto the end of my glass mat, and as I pull to get that ink on, it just means that it stays in place. So then what I'm just going to do is very randomly, I'm just going to go round and round and round either the square or you could be using the circle as personal preference to yourself the square one we say square it is rectangle has a bigger circumference so you can get more ink onto it 
And then all that I'm just doing is just in a few different random places, Joe, I'm just adding some of the ink. Uh, Lucy, so as he go. goes very, very top tier. I thought there was a horse in the gallery. I thought so as well. I mean, uh, our director, Adam, must have sneezed so loudly. I'm surprised his eyeballs didn't pop out. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's choking. choking. He's choking. Uh, he's fine. Uh, are you okay, Adam? I know the viewers at home are worried. He's all good. Don't, don't worry. I mean, you may have heard it through the wall, it was so loud. <laughs> Between my windy pops and, and Adam choking. <laughs> windy pops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love how these blend together, these ink pads as well. I mean, I'm still always blown away at how easily they do go to, together. Because I think we used, well, I say the royal we, uh, seeing these used here at Crafters TV, you just imagine that all blended wink pads work as well as these do, but these are some of the best out there, aren't they, Craig? Oh, they absolutely are. Absolutely are. So you've seen what I'm doing is I'm going straight from ink pad over my cardstock. Occasionally you'll see me doing that onto my glass mat. That's habit, Joe. That's just from the past with other blending ink before I joined Crafters Companion. It's habit that I just tend to get my ink and add some onto my glass mat just so that we can then get a good uh, coverage over my sponge and then go straight onto our uh, card blank which of course I don't need to worry about that with our ones we just go straight on so what I'm just doing is I'm just making sure I've got a foam for each color at home I just put a velcro dot on the back and then I just stick each individual foam pad on there so it's all nicely held in place so I'm just going to go back in with the honey pot and we're just going to blend those colours out. What you'll sometimes find is, let me just get a bit of paper, is because uh, the moisture, you know, the oils within your hands, because it's water reactive, what will happen is you'll tend to get your fingerprints if you just hold uh, it down. Okay. So scrap bit of paper, scrap bit of card, anything like so, kitchen roll even, just to hold it down into place and it just means you're not going to get any marks on your cardstock. Awesome. Uh, some questions coming. Margaret's got a question actually about um, the Spectrum Noir metallic waxes, Craig. With those, do you buff them in the same way that you do the gilding waxes from Pebio? I believe so. I have never used our metallic ones. Okay. It's not something I think we've had in our range for a wee while. No, we had some in the US warehouse That's sale, right. uh, earlier in the week, but I think uh, I don't think we've stocked them here in the UK for quite a long time. I don't think so either, so I've never actually used them. Just from brief conversations in the past, I believe you can just give them a wee bit of a buff afterwards. Mm. Yeah, um, I, I was going to say yes as yeah, well. Yeah, wouldn't do them any damage anyway, so go for it, absolutely. Absolutely not. Now look how well that just blends in together. That's just the two colours. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my spritzer tool, which has just you know got I love water. It. Do you know what might look great over the top of that? What's that? We, what's that pearlised spray that we do? <gasps> Do you know the one I mean? Do you know? Oh. Wouldn't it, do, you, do, you, do you agree? Yeah. Wouldn't it look awesome? Can I just say as well? I th I'm, it's cartload. Cartload, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Right. Spray and sparkle. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, get, I know, I will just say as well, you guys stateside don't get excited. I know when it comes to our ranges here at the moment, yes. we can only get them in the UK because of shipping yeah, and that. There's a lot of challenges about shipping there to is. the US at the moment, and aerosols is one of them, I'm afraid. There absolutely is. Um, but yeah, if uh, here in the UK, if you're uh, wanting some more or you're uh, maybe never tried them before, tune in to Cartload tomorrow. I'm just looking, I think... Maybe I need to take some of this home just spray on my tree. There's a good idea. Would yeah. it work on your tree? Do now, you do you know something, right? If I got it on the floor, though, would it vac off? Would it just vacuum off the floor? Would I have to wash it off? That I'm not sure. Mm. I I seen something on a program last week, and it's just made me think we could use our, our own when it comes to our stick and spray. Yeah. Uh, a girl sprayed our Christmas tree, a, a fake Christmas tree, with. Uh, it wasn't our sticking spray, but it was a, a spray adhesive. Yeah. Then she had fake snow, which I'm thinking Sarah's um, glistening snowflake oh, collection. Yes. So she sprayed her tree with the uh, spray adhesive. Then she just threw some of the fake snow on and then just let it dry. And it looked as though the tree was all snowy in that. And I thought, oh my gosh, we'd be able to do that with our range as well. How thought, awesome. So I just, uh, what you said there just gave me an idea thinking, mm. but yeah, I'm not sure. Give it a go. Mm, give it a go. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I was looking for Brenda, she must be away in the other studio. Oh, she's uh, on holiday. Away. She's on holiday, I'll tell yeah, you what. She's gone down to Crate and Craft. Uh, went to America, never She was really back. annoyed because she didn't get to go to the States this month. 
Uh, She's not the only no, one. No craft day uh, this month, so uh, she didn't get to go. <laughs> she didn't get to go. Oh, plenty of time for her to go across. Plenty of time. So what I'm just going to do is I've got just a box here. I've just popped a bit of tape on the back just so, just so it held, uh, held in place, just so it doesn't fall down. Then just a couple of inches just away. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to do... So, so few... I feel like I've hijacked your demonstration here, Chloe. No, it's okay. Go for it. Sorry. No, this would look really, really nice. So no, don't apologise. Couple of inches just away. I've just done a few short, sharp bursts of uh, spray. And now I'm just going to take that bit of adhesive off the back just here. Then what happens is, this is the Peril Ooh. one that I've used. I would still leave it a moment or two just to dry. Oh, look at that. But then we've now got that Peril effect. So you can create basically your own Centura Peril. Amazing. When it comes to your inks. That was a good love call that. with that one, Joe. Really love that. Oh, thanks. Really good call. Here we go. So that closes our get to crafting doing. this week. <laughs> you could be doing that next next year, one of your uh, one of my grammar days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll add do. it to the list. It's on the list. So now, so we've got that one. I'm just going to see we're still a tiny little bit tacky. So what I'm just going to do is what I had already done beforehand is I'd taken this one that had dried and what I was going to do was just spread some water onto the card. Actually, I can still do a little bit. So what I'm going to do on this one is, because it's water-based, and then I'm just going to just do a few flicks onto my cardstock, just of the water. And this is what we call a faux bleaching effect. So what that does is the water actually lifts the colour away from your, uh, kind of from your um, cardstock. And then what will happen as well is the more you leave it to, to dry basically, what happens is the more colour that lifts off. What I'm going to do, I'm just looking to see if I had another bit of kitchen roll. We've ran out. So, let's just see if I've got a bit... Uh, I've got some tissue that I've been blowing my nose I'd, on. A bit of that. tissue or, uh, No, maybe not that one, okay, Joe. You can not that one. keep that. We've got a, a bit of kitchen roll coming Someone's, in in a moment. Uh, it's coming in. The cavalry is bringing it. It's coming in. Not, I think it's on a light trot, not a full canter, the cavalry. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, it's into a full canter now. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Got it. So all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to just pick up that excess water that's on my card. And then what happens as well is that then picks up. So what you're doing is all these lighter tones just here, that is what this water has just picked up. These deeper ones, that is the ones that I'd done beforehand and just left the water on just for a couple of moments to really pull up the colour. So that's what's called faux bleaching. So then what I'm going to do is let's just bring in our folders again. So cut and emboss, so two cutting plates and I like to add the metal shim. So we're going to bring in our folder. So let's bring this one in. I wonder, do you know what, let's go for this one now because that's uh, be nice and dry. So we're just popping that one in. So like before as well, we've got a sentiment that die cuts out and all that black area, that's what's going to emboss. So it's cut to five by seven, the cardstock. So our base cutting plate, metal shim if you want to include it, and then top plate. And we're just feeding that one through the Gemini. Again, awesome. another one where your sentiment die cuts out as well. You've got the ones. Uh, yeah, so much you can do with these. I think if you do love creating, do you know what? Sometimes I think you can create lots of inky backgrounds and stuff and really enjoy that. But then you think to yourself, that's the bit, the fun bit, Craig, for a lot of people. And then they sort of don't do anything with them. This would give you an excuse to use all of those up, wouldn't it? And create something very quickly and very easily using all of that sort of fun, messy, playful bit that you love. Of course it will. Of course it will. It kind of gives you that reason, doesn't it? So what I'm just going to do is I'm just slowly just taking it off, slightly still a wee bit tacky, but it's absolutely fine. Look at that, it's not taking up any of the cardstock at all. And we're left with these die cut bits. So you can keep a hold of these, use them elsewhere on your crafting, or die cut this again in another colour and paper piece them back in. But we've got our sentiment there that says thanks. Let's bring in a bit of king gold for this one. And I'm just going to pop just a little bit onto the tip of my finger. <laughs> And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to just pop this over the top. <laughs> Debbie has just messaged. She says, uh, I agree with Marilyn. Joe, you are certainly my kind of hottie too. <laughs> Where's go. this come from? I'm getting all the compliments today. Uh, move over, Scotty hottie. You've got competition, clearly. Oh, Joe. Joe's coming in. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, you're making me blush today. 
I think everyone's feeling that bit of festive cheer, you I know, Craig. So. Everyone's getting in a bit of a playful mood, aren't they? I think so as well. I think some people have maybe been on the advocate already. I, I reckon so. Maybe on the snowballs. Well, uh, what would you say to a small sherry? Hello, a small sherry. They thought it was funny in the gallery, Craig, nothing. Craig thought it was so funny, just was just, just, just a pause from Craig. Uh, good, well, I don't know if it was a good one, but it was, you know, <laughs> give, me, give me a little tickle anyway. Give me a laugh. So what I'm just going to do now is uh, I've just popped that gold gilding wax, that king gold. Look at that against that pearl spray that we've popped on the back there. Doesn't it look absolutely incredible? So we've got that one. So let's just bring in our tape runner. Matte and layer onto a bit of black cardstock. So what that does is that then gives us our matte and layer, but it also makes that thank sentiment just pop right out. So if we then just pop that one into place, so we can see there, we've got that one. And then what I'm going to do is let's do it again onto some gold cardstock. So this is our shedless gold cardstock. I've added a bit of adhesive, and because we're going on a glitter card, I'm just going to add some of our tacky glue, tacky wet glue. And I do this just so that it soaks into all of the little bits of gold card. Place that one on. Then what I've already done is I've constructed a box. All that I need to do is just uh, assemble it now. So it was 10 and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches and I've just scored all the way around at one and a quarter inches. So this is my lid and then I've done exactly the same but I scored on the base side. So let's just assemble that one. So that one is the base. Then what I'm going to do is let's bring our lid back in and then we're just going to pop all these components on before we assemble the actual lid of the box. Just makes it that little bit easier. And what I've also done, using some of the gold glitter card, I've just cut some strips just to go around the edges. Love that. Uh, really, really love Marion's back in touch. She says, haha, I am laughing out loud at home. Uh, crying laughing face. Uh, Dita says, just the boys. And then she's got crying laughing face, 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 crying laughing face. I mean... <laughs> People are having a lot of fun in the comments today. They are. Everyone's having a good old, good old chuckle uh, today. It is, I think it's that December feeling, you know. We're fully into December now. You can play the Christmas music. You Absolutely. can get the tree up. You can eat the mince pies. The Christmas calories don't count anymore. Uh, the shops are open again in the UK. I mean, everyone's in a, everyone's in a great mood. We are. We are indeed. Certainly December has come and as you've just said there, Joe, all these different things we're making, making the most of it, feeling really festive, really happy. We are indeed. So there we go, just assembling that lid. And then all I'm going to do to finish as well, let's just take a bow and let's also just take a die cut butterfly that I've got from my stash. So we're going to just add a bit of glue gel there, we'll pop it into the corner. Let's bring in our butterfly. We're going to pop that one down into there. And then there we go, we've now created a box. Let's pop it onto the base as well. So that could then be holding a little gift for your, uh, you know, your loved one. You know, it could ho even hold a card if you wanted to. Or of course, you know, if you want to then just make, don't forget as well, all of these you can make to sell. So what, even if you've got online stores of that the card, your boxes, anything like that, make them. Charities would love them, which actually just leads me on just, because I'm in purple, Joe. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm not only am I obviously purple, Crafters Always Companion. Always purple. But obviously I'm supporting it, Crohn's and Colitis, because it's Crohn's and Colitis week. So I thought, they're uh, all dressed in purple, so that's exactly what I'm doing, so uh, raising awareness. So ah. just uh, just in case uh, you want to know, so we don't usually see Craig on purple in Crafters no. TV. That's why raising there awareness. There you are, Crohn's and Clyde's Awareness Week. Uh, a great cause, go and check it out online. Um, Anne says, Craig, it's amazing, uh, it's amazing how smooth the glitter card is. I expected much more of a sandpaper feel. It is really smooth, and that is because it's awesome quality. A lot of the time, uh, glitter paper or glitter card can be very rough and it can shed quite a lot. Our encapsulated glitter card is awesome. It really is awesome, isn't it, Craig? Uh, it's some of the best, I would say, if not the best. 
Absolutely. Completely agree. And if you've got any of your die cutting machines, electronic die cutting machines, you can use them in then as well. No yes. problem. Yes. Great point. Um, Marilyn is back in touch. Marilyn is, uh, she's, she's a chatty Marilyn's Cathy. really after she's you a, today, isn't she? she? Marilyn's mm. a, uh, definitely a chatty Cathy today. We love it, Marilyn. Uh, she says, it's been a rough year, Joan Craig. You gentlemen cheer us up during the week. We do our best. We do. We, we do, do our try. Best. We, we do, do try. Do. Don't just you just watch Joe. Valentine's will be soon. Just you watch. Oh, do you know I haven't had a Valentine's Day card for about and I think that one even my mum sent me, Craig. I haven't had a Valentine's Day card maybe since primary school. No. So how way. old am I now? I'm 34 now, so when do we leave primary school? Eleven eleven years. So twenty-three years I haven't had a, a Valentine's Day card for. You know, know what's gonna happen now? You know what's going to happen so. now? Marilyn's going to send you about 40 of them. I uh, hope <laughs> 2021 is the year that changes. Uh, right. Um, I've, you know, I've always been single at Valentine's as well. I think I that's why it is. So have I. I've never been in a relationship mm -hmm. at Valentine's. I actually ended a relationship just before Valentine's Day. It was a tipping point, to be honest, Craig. I thought, you know, do I buy gifts and spend money or do we just wind it up? And I thought... I cut my losses. Uh, right, let me run you back through uh, these cut and emboss folders. So we've got uh, the birthday uh, one just here. Uh, you've got lots of different sentiments in here. Congrats. Uh, you've also got friend. Uh, you've got home as well. Love, which is what I've not been experiencing at Valentine's. Me neither. Uh, and you've also got thanks, which was what I was saying with two weeks to go. Uh, 46 pounds or 53 dollars if you want to get your hands on all of them, uh, which is awesome. Remember, triple points across all of well, all of everything. I was going to say everything on the shows here, but it's not, is it? It's across absolutely everything across the entire website. Right, we've got the tri blends on the show. These are the oh, original tri blends that we've got for you with that bullet nip so you've got the deep blends which are these ones just here which is awesome uh, as you can see the or oh, is that was that essentials uh, it says deep blends on the packaging let's say it's essentials that one's essentials uh, which you can see there all of those gorgeous colors that you've got and remember you're getting the three different shades or tones uh, in uh, the one pen uh, and then you've also got the deep blends as well you can use your club inspired discount across both of them and you'll get triple points on them as well uh, which is awesome but they are a really fantastic way uh, of enabling you to color a whole host of different things and I would say as a beginner I've used these uh, on several occasions and had great success uh, with them as well which is awesome right let me just pop these uh, away. Uh, right, balloon sentiments. Uh, we're going to finish where we started. Let me just grab the boards for you because I want to take you through uh, the sentiments that you've got in here. Now, you've got eight sentiments in here uh, in uh, balloon form. Uh, if you're going for the actual sentiments themselves, you can get two of these for £14 or $17. So you've got birthday. Uh, you also have love. There is happy. Baby. Thanks. We've got... Uh, are you all right over there, Craig? Congrats, uh, friend. Uh, and we've also got a uh, party uh, there as well, which is absolutely awesome. So they are all the sentiments you've got. Then what you get are the accessories as well that go with them, which is fantastic. So you've got your... Did you know, Craig, that apparently Ben can do this? You know, the balloon modelling? Can you do the... Yeah, he did this show, but he didn't do any balloon modelling, but he did say at the time that he could do it. So if you've got any shows with him... Well, you're with him, aren't you? I mean, yeah, tomorrow. You need to get some balloons ordered and bring them in over the uh, before the weekend. Get into... Does it have to be the long balloons? I th yeah, well, I mean, you struggle to make a dog out of a round one, I think. <laughs> How are you going to make a dog out of that one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, come, I mean, uh, he might be good. I don't know if he's that good, Craig. <laughs> He'd have to be really good. <laughs> um, don't forget as well, you're also getting in there as well. As well. Uh, you're also getting the paper pad in there as well. Uh, and the paper pad is awesome. It's got really lovely, uh, upbeat, uh, vibrant, fresh colours in this paper pad. It's very, uh, it's quite, some of these are quite lively, which I love, uh, with all the sort of spots and the balloons and stuff in there as well. Craig's still reeling from, uh, <laughs> reeling from my comment. Uh, right, I'm going to put that back on there. And uh, we're going to go back to Craig uh, just for the last part of the show. You're all right over there, Craig. I am sorry. Ask a stupid question. <laughs> right, Theo, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the balloons and what I'll do is we'll do a bit of stamping and die cutting and we'll get this card assembled. So, kind of along the same format as earlier on, well, 
kind of exactly the same, the whole idea with them. What I've done is I've taken some of our uh, nest and dies, again, recently new nest and dies, and I've just used some uh, of our glitter card again, so it's our uh, blue, and paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad. I've got my uh, white stamping card for this one. Within the big stamp set, you've got this stamp here, and what it does is it stamps out all these little confettis. So I'm just going to pop that on and then I'm going to go and use my midnight. Once again, I'm using my pigment ink pads, but you can use your quick dry. You could even use your uh, water reactive if you wanted to. And all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly stamp throughout the background. And we're just going to pop all these all the way around. So stamping off the actual layer too, just so we've got a bit of uh, interest on the back. You can mix and match your colour if you so wish, but I'm just going to go in straight with the midnight blue. That will then give us our background. I'm just going to stamp a little one there, and then that then enables us to layer that one on top of each other, and that's our background already done, just like that one. So creating your own background, of course you can use the paper pad, but you've got these stamps as well. Then what I'm going to do is I've just brought in some of our uh, stamping card again and let's just die cut this word out. So we've got for friend on this one here. So let's just run this one through. I'm going to die cut it and then stamp it. And we're going to stamp it with probably the midnight again. We'll go with, but this time we'll just use the one colour. So earlier on in the first demonstration we used the two colours to kind of blend into each other. This one we're just going to use that one colour at one tone. So if we get this one here, it says the word friend. Nothing using, or nothing stopping you, Joe, from using the waist as a bit of a shadow for your oh, stencil nice. on the background if you wanted to. Mm, you can do, no problem. So let's just straighten that one out slightly, bring in our stamping mat again, and then let's bring in our stamp that says friend. This is a wee bit longer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my six inch stamping platform just to make it that little bit easier and pop that one in the middle and we're just going to ink this one up we're just going to stamp that give it a good coverage and then we're going to pop it over the top and again what I'm doing is I'm just going to line this one up over the top I'm just looking to make sure that my stamp goes right over and then once I'm happy I'm going to press so we're just going to press this one so we've got a good coverage just like so and then as we then release that one, we've got the word friend. You've even got the little shadows already there for you as well. So it just looks very round, you know, a very uh, round effect to it. Then what I have already done, just uh, for time, we'll just skip this one out. But I've just die cut the die of the balloon and just stamped that. So we can always go back to the first demonstration after to see how I've done that effect. So we're just going to bring these ones in. And same with the birthday cake. We've got this one here. I've just stamped that with our alcohol ink pad. So that means we could come in with our classics and start to colour it in if you wanted to. And we're just going to start to layer these ones up now. So the card blank that I've got is five by seven. And we've just taken one of the pattern papers from our paper pad. And I'm just going to layer these ones up. So I think what I'll do, Joe, is I'll do a couple of layers okay. and then I'll bring in the one that I've already done. And then that way it gives you the idea of how I've uh, I created. love those uh, nesting dies. Is that the fancy stitched edged oval you're using there? Buddy? It is, yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. I think it's really awesome. I like all of our stitched edge dies, yeah. Really, really nice. So very close to being, obviously, a normal die, but then you've got that tiny, tiny little bit of detail all the way around just to finish it off. So then all that I would do, Joe, is just pop that one right across. We can then bring in our balloons, keeping in mind you have got kind of the little, uh, the flyer bits, the little tails that you can uh, then stamp just to have that going about. We've even got the word special that comes with on that stamp set with friend. So then that could just be layered up. So then what we could do is let's tuck that one there and there. So let's pop that over the top to add a bit of dimension. Pop that one into place. We would colour the parcel in. That could sit at the bottom and then bring in some of these little streamers again. So your balloon is just coming up from top of the parcel. And then it would 
look something like that one. So just with a little bit of height, either glue gel or foam pads, and then you can see how you can start to get a bit of definition when it comes to these ones just here. I think that's so a beautiful that card, look. Quake. And really you can lovely. colour theme that completely different. Yeah. That could be purples, that could be reds, you know, it could be uh, greens, anything like that. So keeping it very uh, blue with that colour just there. But then it's a bit of an idea for you. Yeah, really awesome. I really love that. If you want to go for that, remember, uh, £69 or $95 to get those. Triple points across absolutely everything. Don't forget, all the way up until uh, the end of Sunday. So make sure, if you're sort of nearing the next level uh, in the club, it might be a great way uh, of getting you there. Um, over uh, the next sort of few days. So definitely bear that in mind. We must go back to uh, the Hero Tour. The Hero Tour, of course, uh, is a time limited offer. We've got, managed to get, I couldn't believe when they told us in the meeting this morning, we had 10% off this. I was genuinely shocked. Just because I know how long this was out of stock for, how long we waited to get this back in stock as well. And it is the rotating design board. And it is awesome for coloring. That is really uh, what this predominantly is designed for because you can easily move uh, your imagery around as you are using it. It's also great if you want to stand things on top of here as well and use it to spin them around. Uh, putting something like your Gemini on there would work absolutely beautifully. Um, it is also great for composition for things like scrapbook pages. If you just want to play around uh, and lay things out and get a good idea of how uh, they work, you get the clip included uh, as well on there. It's awesome. $14.39 or uh, $17.99. We have sold so many of these since we launched uh, Totally Tiffany here at Crafters TV. I'd say it, it's probably uh, by um, units sold is the, the top selling item in the whole of the Totally Tiffany range, which is awesome. Craig, uh, it's been fantastic. I've really enjoyed the show. Uh, when are you going to be back with us? Well, I am back on Crafters TV tomorrow for two shows with Ben. However, if you've got our 2020 advent calendar and you want a little bit of an extra live at 8 p.m. here in the UK, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time, or midday Pacific time, go across onto my Facebook page, Craig Laird CC. We will open door number two live, and we'll also make something for what comes behind the door. So I'll be live, I say 45 minutes, last night we were about an hour. So if you want to come and join me, then do that. We'll see you in a awesome. couple of hours. Awesome, so that is what, in two hours time? Yes. Uh, over on your Facebook. My he, Facebook. He, he never stops, does he, honestly? What a trooper he is. Uh, massive thanks, Craig. Always Thank a pleasure you so much, to spend uh, some time with you uh, in the craft room. Uh, big thanks uh, to you guys at home. Thanks to the guys as well next door uh, in the gallery. I'm off for a few days now. Uh, ben will be <laughs> got away the fact that I was off for a few days now. Johnny was like, I was like, I'm off for a few days now. Johnny went, yeah, woohoo, yay. Thanks, nice, thanks. Thanks, good to know you got my back, Johnny. Uh, I won't be here, Ben will be here. I know what you meant. Ben will be here for a few days. Uh, and then Derek will be here with you on Sunday. I'll be back here on Monday with a fabulous masterclass uh, with Sarah. So make sure you join me for that 1 p.m. Uh, UK time. Uh, I hope you have a great few days and uh, do you see, I won't see you back here, but Ben will see you back here uh, for another full day tomorrow. Uh, take care. Bye.